brothers, sisters. He pushes him back and just yeah. 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 grab his deck and twist it. <laughs> <laughs> I have way too much written for this entire part. I have a fucking book cool. written, and it's still not uh, enough. There's still things that I'm missing that I'm like, oh well. You mean like <laughs> that big opening? The what? Oh no, that's the for a reason. Oh, Can okay. I just look through some of them I really quick? That. Yeah. Oh, so I haven't Thanks. even gotten I had to make it bigger. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm makes hopeful sense, yeah. for Romulus. I swear to God, if this movie flops, I kill the director. I think that's a fair choice. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> they all they can make go. Sabuku. <laughs> Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. The Rift Seekers and the Ironwood Watchers prepare for battle against the Black Limb Demons. They have secured the help of the Spirit of the Forest and also obtained specialized equipment from the deranged Tiefling Guile, the Saint of War. Our adventurers now return to Nasal to make their final preparations before marching to the fortress of the Black Limb Demons. Welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Home, everyone. Session 33. So, Hi, where please. we are beginning, uh, you guys had just come back from speaking to the f spirit of the forest, and you guys are coming back from speaking to the saint of war, Giel, Guile, 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 and Sudi. Mm -hmm. So, um, you guys are still in the town of Nasal. You guys are just coming back from the tree line. The town is in front of you. So, what would you guys like to do? The battle of the Ironwood Watchers and the Black Limb Demons commences tomorrow. I need to rest. <laughs> they are taking the fight to the Black Limb Demons at the Raised Fortress. The location of it, you're unsure of, but um, you are following uh, Brahm Aram, the copper uh, dragonborn captain of the Ironwood Watchers who will be leading the fight. Um, so, did you get it? No, I Damn. almost did though, I felt it. That's pretty good. So, that would have been sick. what would you guys like to do? Rest. The, Iron, <laughs> the Ironwood Watchers are preparing for battle for tomorrow, and you guys had done your special missions to help out. So, uh, frankly, I need my beauty sleep in order to function the next morning. Okay. Because I need my hit dice back. I would like to uh, go reconvene with my friends and share the information mm -hmm. that we have learned. Yeah. Share information, yeah, then along. sleep yeah. as whole party. Yes. Yeah. Collaborative. Yeah, they'll be thrilled to know. <laughs> Collaborative slumber. We, we also need to share our all information with couple. the... Uh, Iron the Watchers. The Iron Watchers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I almost just grabbed your one. Yeah. <laughs> it is unintentional, but it came out that so, way. So it's just, the you know. leaders that still remain in Nasal is obviously Brom, and then Spearbiter. the purple, almost crystalline dragon, Spearbiter. She's so cool. And then there is, of course, Nakoa, the last druid of the Ironwood Forest. I am going to make sure that Amber stays very close to me. I'm keeping I'm keeping a real close eye on her. So do you want yeah. to just to At, put him like in between yeah. both of us? <laughs> yeah, and I'll be like slightly in front mm -hmm. with like the short I'm like one. I'm like right like in the yeah. back, just like block. Making sure that he's not getting you know, people are <laughs> like being weird at him. Yeah, um, go ahead and make an insight check. Oh. Ambrose protection squad? Ambrose protection squad. Get down, Mr. President! <laughs> <laughs> Can I join in since I'm also mm -hmm. kind of, okay. Yeah, of course. 11. Okay. Don't worry, I got you a natural 20. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. A natural right. 20. Um, a natural so, 20. 
Mikhail, you're a little bit too focused on everything else trying to protect Ambrose that reading Ambrose's emotions is kind of like on the back burner right now. Uh, Ornan, though, um, you see that Mikhail is, you know, uh, taking on this like intimidating defensive <laughs> position in front of Ambrose. Um, Looking at Ambrose, there is a mix of emotions going on right now. Okay. You've always seen Ambrose as an independent person, independent character. Oh, um, they like being on their own. Uh, they like doing things on their own. Relying on others is not their strong suit. And so being in this position where they feel threatened and vulnerable, it's hard for them. It's a mix of frustration with fear. And it's all combining to be confusing for Ambrose. And it's, it's readily seen on his face where like- Guard dog mode has been activated. Yeah. I'm just like- Ambrose is uncomfortable. And it's not that he really fears for his life. It's that he's fearing that being here and who he worships and what he does may cause something bad to happen to those around him. Got it. That's what you can read from him. Just so, uh, you can go ahead and make a perception check, Macau, and you can too, Ornan, to look out for people who might be a little suspicious of Ambrose. Natural 20. Uh, two in a row? No, the other one was unnatural. Oh, I heard natural. The first one was cocked and it was almost a 10, okay. but 24 for perception. <laughs> Don't worry, worry. I am just like, I'm so <laughs> fucking used to this. What's up? It's the combination of I must keep him safe and then also I have to keep him safe. I have to keep him safe. And nobody else. You, you get way <laughs> too in your head about <laughs> things yeah. that no, you're kind of okay? blinded by everything around you. Yeah. Um, Ornan, with Call your uh, ever watchful eyes and being so in tune to uh, fighting and uh, being in the moment, ready to fight at any any turn, um, you would be able to see that a few Ironwood Watchers who are patrolling the outskirts of Nasal, um, trying to help any other uh, citizens or townsfolk in this area, uh, maybe trying to pick up some broken debris or rubble. Um, every once in a while, it's almost like you guys are giving off some sort of aura. And by passing by some people, um, some of the Iron Watchers would like turn and look and see you guys would recognize you from the meeting, but then Ambrose, is who they turn their attention to. I just and like, they kind of like turn to each other and whisper for a second and then just kind of like shrug and turn away. But it was very strange that again, they kind of point out It's just like however awkward. many people do that. It's like after passing by, I just want to like, and then just keep walking. You want to try to roll intimidation or are you just a uh, passing glance? Kind just of like a passing glance okay, of just like, should keep your nose in your own business yeah. if you know what's good for you. Yeah, they definitely like catch you looking at them and they <laughs> turn around and just kind of go back to their business. Good. Understanding that, yeah, yeah they should yeah. just do keep doing what they're doing. They should butt out of other yeah. people's business. Exactly. But, uh, okay, so where are you guys going then? I can't remember where the fuck we were supposed to meet back. We just like them. meet up at like where other people are resting, because I'm like, that's where we're yeah. gonna end the day anyway. Yeah. I mean, the only significant place in Nasal as of right now, because it is a little bit war-torn, um, is the Inner Sanctum or like the Grove. Yeah. Well, then we'll just go hang out there. We'll go hang out. Okay. So you guys- Nature will guide their up to us. I want to- There you go, yeah. Odds are evens. Yep. Um, Odds are evens. Even. As you Not guys today, would return to the inner sanctum, a uh, spearbiter would approach you, um, her hands like um, clasped in front of her, and she again kind of like walks with a, a certain grace about her. Um, and she approaches you, lifts up her head. So, 
Any luck with the Saint of War? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that is sort of. It was interesting. I wouldn't expect. No well, like reaction. interesting in a good way. In a good way. We learned a lot. We did. We also got some stuff. We did really... that we get to test out for free. I, I see. And one was tested out on me. It was crazy. Oh. I'm good, obviously. Mm. But I got the piece of dynamite strapped to my arm. Yeah, almost blew us sky high. This was the type of crazy I expected. He's that. just so big, he houses so much friendship, you know? A lot of trust in this guy. So. Uh, mm, tr- okay. I'm trying to understand, I really am. So am I! I'm not enough! But then yeah, we got some stuff, now we're just uh, waiting for our buddies. And, uh... Can't wait to hear... the wreck shop. Yeah. Is there any information that perhaps I should know about that can help us. Yes, um, I don't know how this will help, but uh, you gotta kinda keep this on the down low. Um, no, like for real, like for real. He managed to contain a black one bean, and it was just, you know, chilling the, down the, there. Jay chilling. Jay chilling. And it, uh, <laughs> Or it's you'll integrate. It's a orchestral so, thing. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's ready the world war for you. <laughs> you don't gotta do shit. He's got it handled. Um, but uh, he had it like on a table that was able to move and uh, like separate its body parts. But then he said, "What if backwards?" And so he did. And then it <laughs> went. <laughs> Into one guy, and it useless. Was, and it didn't seem to be able to like pop out its limbs. So it's like if you yeah, compress it enough, and when you kill the main body, you don't have to worry about the yeah. limbs popping off and going. And this could be useful because one of the things that we have, we have these bolas that we throw. That can you go? There, heat seeking, heat seeking bolas, and then um, oh, but that might not work out super great because they don't have blood. It, it, like I was saying before, it's like heat seeking ah, bolas. Just get there. The way <laughs> the way you saw it, um, when Guile threw the bullet, it kind of like stopped where Macau was, it's and a then body, <clears throat> and then just yeah. Okay. So you could assume, without having any really knowledge of magic, that that thing might have Life been four. arcane charged it so that it could seek out like or stop bones. where there is a body or person there. Okay. Um, but we have you definitely know it's not a normal bullet because that doesn't just happen. Yeah, that's not a thing. Yeah. Uh, but we have that. And then also we have these little, uh, like, kind of like dynamite almost. They're like little explosives. Like non-lethal. Non-lethal. Lethal. They explode and a substance comes out that fills a large space and keeps you stuck. Which is great for crowd control. Yes. I was stuck. You were. I was. It's okay. I, I had two things tested on me then. Mm. Fun day. But At least yeah. you didn't get the dynamite strapped to your arm. Well. <sighs> Thank you for this information and for inquiring on the behalf of the Iron Watchers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Do you think that it would be beneficial to take the Saint of War with us tomorrow? Uh, With his gadgets of war, uh, perhaps? He gave them to us to test them out? No, I mean, just to test them out. He said, yeah, have fun, yeah, he looked- have fun, bro. And just, they were uh, initially for a price and then they weren't because he gave us the gold back. But then yeah. we took the gold when we left. Yeah, it, I don't know. Um, He's a bit of a wild card. Which so I do like, very interesting conversation. Very fun, super great. Not entirely sure if Not able to be handled on the battlefield. 
the way that he talks about some certain situations, he might like run in and try to do something extravagant and might end up getting himself killed. And I would rather him stay here and create things that more level-headed people can figure out how to use instead of just going, here, go. And then he ends up getting himself killed. I see. That's disappointing to hear. Are there any other options on acquiring more of these armaments? He did. I mean, I could ask. That is true. We did kind of like do like, a, not like a little bit of like convincing, but like if I was like, well, if you give us these and they work out well, then we can like relay information back to you guys and then you can like make weapons and other things like this right. for you. Right, he so, wanted to be acknowledged as he does. As his own little guy. He wanted to like, he wants to join in on your guys' whole shit. I see. As like the weapon dealer and maker and inventor and all that. I think I have an idea on how this might work. My job here is done. We did it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It was Macau and Ornan, yes? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, thank you to the both of you. Mm-hmm. I have some things that must be done before tomorrow, so if you'll excuse me. Hey, okay. Please you do what you gotta. Rest up, and if you are in need of food or drink, we do have some, and she kind of like uh, gestures to where there's kind of like a, a feasting hall um, within the inner sanctum that you can go grab a meal um, before resting or uh, before tomorrow. So. Okay, okay. Coolio. And then she bows to you and then um, takes her leave. Cool, yeah. Meet, meet, meet. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. Okay, so cool. Cool, cool, cool. Team Forest, you guys <laughs> have gotten to the tree line. The town of Nasal is in front of you. Uh, you would see that there are puffs of smoke coming from the town here and there, just kind of from the aftermath of the battle that took place. Um, but it is relatively peaceful. There are no Blackland demons around you. Uh, being in the forest was actually very calming and serene. Uh, coming back to the town, it kind of like thrusts you back into reality of things of, oh, you do have to fight tomorrow. It's gonna be dangerous. And a lot of people are essentially risking their lives to save what you saw in the forest. So with that, what would you guys like to do as you re-enter the town of Nasal? As we re-enter the town, I would probably head straight over for the... uh, War room tent, I guess. War room tent. Like where they held the big old meeting. War oh, room. yes, yeah. that is in the inner sanctum. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's so the very I, center I would, of... Yeah, sorry, I'd be ahead. I thought you meant that we, like, went to the inner sanctum. Oh! I want to go to the inner sanctum. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, easily enough, you guys can make your way through the town, back to the inner sanctum, and then back to, like, the, the war room. I mean, um, even before you would make it to the war room, you would see... Um, both of your friends just concluding their talk with Spearbiter, the purple crystalline dragon, okay. dragonborn. Um, so, yeah. Uh, is there anything you're wanting to do before I? Uh, no. Okay. Same. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Then fine. I will speak over to speak over to. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. That's yeah. good. Kinda. I will approach Spearbiter. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Greetings, I have... This is such a strange thing to say. News from the forest. Oh, and what news does it bring? <laughs> I found the spirit. The forest. Truly. Truly. Alive and what? Incredible. I've... I've only heard of... The legends. I've never known someone to encounter it in the flesh. Where were we first? Well, 
please do tell more. I am intrigued. Keeping it brief, I described the dire situation that we are in. Mm -hmm. And it has agreed to lend us the aid of the trees. The ones that have been resting ever since the last siege. They'll be here at dawn they to aid a, us in the siege. They have a home to protect too. How wonderful. That means we... Victories. We've got a final close. chance. I... I was afraid before not knowing that the spirit could help us, nor the trees, but now I can almost taste it. Victory will surely be at hand. If you could pass that knowledge along to Brom. Of course. And potentially loaded question here. Do we know where Ogiron is? Mm. The distance. Probably at the pussy house because he's a yeah. pussy! <laughs> <clears throat> Big fucking boys! Roll persuasion. Oh, persuasion? Is that any good? <laughs> Five. Ah! <laughs> I was betrayed from this is so bad. I'm, stop! I'm getting a new one the moment I can. Stop! Um, <laughs> what was it? <sighs> Enough. I am not too sure where Ogiron went. All I know is that he left on horseback with some of the Ironwood Watchers. No worries. I just asked because I was hoping that maybe with the knowledge that we had the Spirit of the Forest at our aid, he might be more willing to reconsider. I can only hope that he does return before tomorrow, and if he does, perhaps you can speak to him. Try to convince him that with the help of the forest and the spirit that we can achieve victory. But, um, I, I don't know if he will return. I can only hope. But, um, if any new information does come about of Ogeron's whereabouts or presence, I will inform you. Thank you. And thank you as well. To you, Larash. Or Eve, sorry. <laughs> Happy to help. Good. Okay. I'm glad to hear it. You and your other friends have been a great help to the Ironwood Watchers. It's just us, like, sitting on the ground, just like... I know that Brom is in your debt already for saving him. <laughs> From afar. But <laughs> so too are the Ironwood Watchers for this deed that you've done for us. And if we achieve victory tomorrow, then you will be praised as Ironwood Watchers. Honorary Ironwood Watchers? We're gonna fuck shit up! <laughs> Good! <laughs> yeah, we will! <sighs> Ogrim is not gonna wanna miss this one. You better go get them! Yeah, I agree. Well, now I'll find them. Let us all rest up I can and sniff prepare them out. for what comes tomorrow. Yes. We're going to need it. I shall take my leave, but please rest. And if there's anything you'll need, anything you need, feel free to ask any of us. We will help out where we can. Rest well, Rift Seekers. She to you. bows to you as well. and then takes her leave. There's something about that that's growing on me. It's about all the thank yous and just. Well, the, yes, but the. Rest well, Rift Seekers. 
That's kind of cool. You're getting an ego. That's all it is. It's not. I've had getting, one. Getting one. I've it's had really, one since you're I getting was a out the womb. One. <laughs> I've had one since I was out the womb. Dara. This is like a positive ego. That it, it, mm, it's still an ego. That's still an ego. Okay. We both have one. It's okay. Well, it's you also have, not you have, that. You have two now. It's also not even that it's like an ego thing. It's partially that I just think it's fun. That like you know we're like a little crew. We got the name and stuff. And it's we should so distribute these stuff that we got. Oh, I have things. Oh, I bring we, gifts. We have fun things oh, from the Lord. Saint of War. From the Mad Genius. Oh yeah. Uh, I I was almost armless. Whoa. And like armless as like I was almost dead. Oh, how? How many balls? Um, how many? Oh, just how many he was willing to give? Um, Take a guess of how I almost I lost that. I specifically have three uh, blue dynamite sticks. I was gonna say sticks. I'm almost positive he gave And then the bowl was, I don't know. Three dynamite sticks for Some sure. Some sort of huge concussive magic? I know it was Not like magic. a magic. I know he just a bunch of he went, oh, no. Yeah. yeah. You could it be anything. Was, it was just enough to agree to yeah, So bunch. I'll say Take a uh, guess. each of you will be able to get two. Okay. Hold on, I'm, I'm having them guess how I almost lost my arm. Okay, well, well you keep can, going. Okay. I'm just three. Can I not do this at the same time? Okay, I'm going. Two bolas. They're Two like, balls. oh. you Two throw balls. them in the general direction of an enemy, and then it stops, and then it just... It's like mad. It's like a magical holding missile. It's oh, like magic, magic missile! Oh, missile. Oh, yeah. How about that? But, but it goes... God, I hope it doesn't rely on my own skill of throwing things. Probably. Probably. It's not gonna go well. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> it's an option. Okay. So. Mirage took her there. guess. What's your guess of how I almost lost my arm? Wait, I missed her guess. What was your guess? Some sort of concussive magic. Ah. Uh, Large scale. Okay, 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 okay. Malfunctioning bullet. No. Wait, can I guess? You know the answer. Some sort of monster he keeps in his pen? Close. 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 Well, but no, not... more so that you're onto a different train of thought. Yeah, you're uh-huh. onto a different thing that happened. But when it comes to the one arm... more guess. Oh okay. no. Okay, you can tell him because he's no fun. Uh, he willingly let the the guy uh put guy. A... No, no, I was just saying the guy. The guy Guile. The guy whose name is Guile. Uh, put a stick of dynamite on his arm. Do you know oh. how lethal those are? Oh. Oh yeah, no, I had a moment. I was like, you know, maybe I should Lost let this happen. Your arm. Yes. Would have also been your body. Yeah. It would have been all of your lives. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got scared. Wow. <sighs> I was worried that there was. Like I was a- really in the moment listening to you guys. But uh, yes, we got those. It and came like this close. And then, and then, then Sudi <sighs> came downstairs and she stopped it. We also have You're these. very happy go lucky over this, Onan. Because we're good now. We're good! It, it, it laughed! It was funny! It's I'm funny not now dead. when you put yourself, your friends, and strangers at risk. He's got the point. To be fair, we were about. To try, it, we thought it was the non-lethal one. We did think it was that. So that's what we originally thought that we were testing, not like an actual stick of dynamite until yeah. Sudi came downstairs and she was like, what are you doing? That's the not big boom dynamite. one. Oh, th- these. Oh, oh. These are little, little guys that create oh. some sort of poof substance that's uh, restricting in nature. So I figured we could use some of these for the like uh, the like, I would oh, say yes, like I should bigger be. Air, like yeah. horns yeah. Really of them like running panicking at them. because at least we all kind of achieved what we set out to do. Did you talk to a uh, woods ghost? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we did. The woods ghost. Yes. Sick. We will have an army of trees at our side. You almost blew us up, and they got an army of trees on the way. <laughs> No. <laughs> we may not have lived to see walking trees. He has a point. I'm not watching him on the way. He is a walking tree. No, that's a man. Oh. You're a walking tree. Oh. Okay, but that's green, not brown. Oh, green. you are a bark. No, I mean. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, he's actually got a point. My name, it means oak. A walking tree! Oh, oh. oh. Why not just. I knew oak. it. Ooh. That's more uh, translation the... between whatever it once was to what it is now. Old dialects. It's, they read like that. It's such a quick oak. Ah. What makes you think I have that answer? I don't know. I do prefer Dara, though. Yeah. I would feel weird calling you Oak, I think. That just doesn't... I, yeah, you say that now. If you had met me as Oak, you'd probably be singing a different song. It's frying my brain. I'm trying to imagine it. I'm reliving my whole life up to this moment. <laughs> the entire thing. Uh, uh, most of it. I was going to say, only about over, a month. I'm this is really relevant here. I know, I'm just, you know, very formative years. Okay. Nah, I don't like it. I missed. Damn. <laughs> you saw a bug. <laughs> Fucking! The Macau came out in that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's here! He's here! It's like, it's been weeks! Let me out! Same bug that's flying around, just like shocking grasp. <laughs> Get that bitch! Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so... I have some notifications. So, oh, yeah. army of trees... Uh, organism seeking bolas... Poof bomb. That's a good word for it. We should tell Guile. That's like the official name for it. It's not very. <gasps> but this is like a poof bomb. That it sounds it... like it could mean shit. That's why. Poof it's... bomb. Shit. That's why it's funny. Mm. Unless he has a better one, who knows? Um... He's not entirely all there, and that is why he could make a better name, possibly. Did you not see the psycho. Huh? The two pieces of psychics huh? the, the, the on him? Oh, yeah! Um, so huh? he's, so he's, like me, he's a different. Um, and at the tips of his, of his fellows, there were two pieces of psychics just in there. Like, on, oh. like, on him. Yeah, like in there. Graph like no. not like like he's holding it, not like it's in his pocket or anything. It's on his body oh, in there. Jeez. Which is probably why he's so you know? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Like he's insanely fucking smart. <gasps> we gotta tell him about the boat. The oh! boat. Um. You can squash the blackland <clears throat> demons into one singular stick of a creature and then it can't do fuck. And then when you kill main body, whole thing dies. Dead. Limbs. Gonzo. You just gotta... Inside. Any ideas on how to... Not even one remotely, no. 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 Just we just was... saw... Sure, I mean, I appreciate the, the knowledge. Fucking how did he do it? Literally, the table just went. He went, let me try something. And we are like... I bet I could do it. I could also try. You wanna like hold it down and I try to like shove the limbs back into it? Or vice <laughs> versa? Yeah. <laughs> Both that ways? Would, that would be funny, yeah. We could try. It wouldn't really hurt to try. It would hurt it. Aha, aha, aha. True. <laughs> well, that, I think that about covers it. So, was it, what, so was it like a ghost? Was it... Was it like an actual it, spirit? Was it a tree? It, Kind of looks like this flowery, viney entity. Yeah, just a whole bunch of plants just bunched up, okay. in like a humanoid shape. So more like spirit in representation rather than like an actual ghost. Right. Okay. Yeah. More as a figurehead for the. Yeah, it had big old viney arms, wooden mask, blue eyes. But we're all taken to this car towards. We were taken to this totally different space. Too. Okay. It's. Well, it's known as an Elder Musai. 
lost ourselves. We woke up in some <clears throat> ethereal garden. It's not a good little ethereal garden. What the fuck? But it's... we can't totally do the god well, shit. I know, but like, we almost got blown up and they got to go to fancy god garden. To well, be... that kind of is our game. To, to be like, fair, do the... it's not strictly nonce. I don't think I'd be able to do what you do, though. How did you get in? Um, I just lied down and I tried to focus on the life energy, knowing that this thing represented See, God the whole shit. force. So God I shit. God shit, I tried be able zooming to do out that. and focusing on the life energy of the forest itself. See, I wouldn't be able I to saw, do that. I saw a whole lot of dancing golden lights. I got to the point where I would eventually be dragged under. I just like to say, the way that you describe it makes me feel like it happened to me, which is oh. very nice. Yeah. It is really nice. I think we picked groups just fine. Yeah, I think the groups worked out well. I was like, I you don't... know how to... It, it's a very yeah. abstract concept. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ours was so... just a lot of, like... You're yeah, doing a good job! <laughs> and then he would go off and do something, and he'd be like, Applause! And we're like, yeah, that was basically yeah. 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 And then we gave him gold, and then he, he gave, gave it, it back, back, and then we gave him. One. I gave him a gold again, and then I, I don't. We also how just got, got like weapons again. and shit thrown at us. So yeah, that was, was the bolus. Yeah, yeah, that was really weird. What? We accomplished our mission in the end. I'm it was just you. a lot of you like were, mission accomplished. <laughs> mission. Okay. <You're, laughs> What? What was? I was just going. It was accomplished. What? You're weird. Dramatics. Like... It's fine. Well, glad you guys are okay. Mm. I can sense life energy, but I can't sense if someone got their arm blown off. Hey. <laughs> Good segue. Don't do that again. I won't. Now yeah, I know the difference both... between the red one and the blue one. Yeah. No, or we, we just both... don't put that. <laughs> We need yeah, don't, don't let people strap strange items to your arms. Yeah. Well, he also lit one of the dynamites in his own home, and then you that. ended up getting stuck. I did so, I will say, in the moment, I didn't know what to do. Hindsight, uh-uh. Uh-uh. So we both fucking yeah, found no, out. Yeah, no, that person's probably Mine was just more lethal than yours. Trusted. What? That person's probably absolutely deranged and should not be trusted. Oh, most definitely, yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, uh, someone is going to go talk to him. He's very oh, nice. good. He's very nice, though. He's he nice is very guy. nice. He just wants to make weapons and be recognized. And yeah. we did kind of get him more on our side. So, uh, I was uh, like, I was like, hey, listen, if you give us weapons to test out and then we could go to the Ironwood Watchers and we can be like, <clears throat> Hey, Gyron made these and they were pretty effective. It was like, why don't you guys just like work together just in case like the Black Moon Demons come back? And then it's like you'll have things to harm them better with. Ooh, Zion's and Gale definitely be recognized. I was like, he was already known, but now he'll be well known. I just don't know why he's called the Saint of War. Like, did yeah, you do, we didn't even get to ask him. Yeah. You know, I I would like to say that is more than likely a self-proclaimed title. Probably. I was like, do you not remember how many names he came up with? He wanted to be in charge of the Blackland demons, and then, he and then was no, like, he no, wanted I to be want to kill them, and then he said no. No, and don't then he wanted them. to be like the king, and then yeah. <laughs> all of this, yeah. and yeah. Even I was having a hard time. Yeah, it was just a lot of like... Uh, yeah. I'm tired. I want to eat and then go to sleep. It's been a long yeah. day. I even no fighting stick at the moment. Nate, I still have blood <sighs> coming out of my nose. I need to eat and sleep. Mm -hmm. Food. Yes. More water. What? Still? What? Well, How? Huh? Hmm? You just see just a little trickle of blood. And I'm like... You should <clears throat> probably get that checked out. Honestly. Oh yeah, no, I got the whole... That's not... Dude. 
Blood should never bleed that long. It's a. Uh, it's just like a little like trickle. That, that's <laughs> indicating a larger problem at hand. Mm. You're fine. You've got extremely thin blood. He's a big boy. That's a problem. He can handle it. I pull out a hanky. Very big boy, very thin blood. Oh, yeah, they'll um, stop wiping it you, on my clothes. You can keep it. You can keep it. <laughs> Whole thing. Whenever lady gives you her court chief, that's a good deal. I just walk away and I just go get the <laughs> nose bleeds more. <laughs> you just hear you literally just hear ah! and I'm like, God, what the fuck? Eat red meat. I can do that! Good. Army of dreams. Where's spinach? Oh, I'll just Wait say for you guys. spinach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like spinach. Are you guys going to come get the food? Yeah, I will. Yeah. yeah. What do they got there? Okay, so inside, as you oh, guys enter there. the uh, feasting hall, um, you see there is a, a few, like, very long wooden tables. Um, it is adorned with, like, candelabras, uh, plates, silverwares, oh, uh, different, like, cloths to use for, like, napkins or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> uh, on each of the tables, there is a variety of meats, um, ranging from, like, um, like pig, like a whole ass hog on the table. Um, there's different cuts of meat, like steaks, um, just a variety of different meats, I guess you could say. And then there are also like a variety of bowls of like fruit, uh, veggies of all different sorts. It's a very colorful array of, fr- of food that is spread out on the tables. Um, during this time though, as the sun is like um, setting, cause I think you, yeah, around yeah. this time it is evening. So the sun would be uh, waning soon. So um, as you guys enter, there are many of the Iron Watchers um, inside the feasting hall who are all taking part in this meal. Um, <clears throat> there is like maybe one spot that is open that could fit your group as a whole on either side of the tables. Okay. So as you guys enter and sit down at the table, um, there's just, it's kind of like ambient crowd noises where it's just everyone's speaking, everyone's um, chanting, Mm -hmm. yelling. There's some songs that are being played. Um, And as you're in here, you would notice that the majority, and we're saying like maybe 99% of the uh, creatures in here are all dragonborn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, hey. There are some uh, townsfolk in here as well, um, kind of like scattered throughout the feasting hall. You would see some families, um, some mothers who are like feeding their children, uh, fathers who are like procuring some food for their family, stuff like that. Um, but as of right now, it is a, a jovial and peaceful kind of setting. Hmm. Awesome. Nice. I'm taking a look around, see if anybody's staring at Ambrose. I was about to sure. also ask that as well. It's like, it's too jovial on this bitch. I need to make sure that everything's fine. I know your ass. You don't like to give us breathing room. What? What do you mean? What? <laughs> it's been a month and we've nearly killed, got killed by a god. Yeah. When? Well, I mean, he became god afterwards, but that's not the point. Oh, yeah. 16. I'm a grandmother. 16. Okay. Anytime I quote Six. that line, no one knows what I'm talking about, and it makes me so fucking upset. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody out there, that. please. It's a little girl, and the mom's just like, How old are you? She goes, 16! And she's like, A child. I'm a grandmother! And then it just stop. It's so fucking funny to me. I think it's the same kid that does the freaking bats. I love Halloween and the I smell like beef. It's oh. the same kid. She has she's grown up into like a, a young woman at this point now, and she talks the exact same. Like she has the same little accent whenever she's speaking. I'm like, where did she get that? It's, <laughs> it's borderline transatlantic, and I'm like, how did you develop this when no one in your family sounds like that? And That's it's just so fascinating. Transatlantic is such a dead accent. Too. Mm-hmm. And it was developed so that people could be better heard over radio. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> now she is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and how they taught it, it, it ended up becoming a thing because like people couldn't understand what others were saying through the radio. And so, uh, the, so they just kind of had to talk in a specific way and then people just picked <clears> it up over time and then it died uh, off. That's why they sound stupid. Mm-hmm. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be big kid. <laughs> so, it's Mark, it's got Moxie. Wait, Jesus. <laughs> I'm terrified. Um, <laughs> baby, and bobbing. <laughs> bobbing and bobbing. With a 16. Uh, fuck you. I know exactly what that's from. <laughs> um, <laughs> with a 16, you would be able to notice that. Um, a few of Ogeron's uh, Iron Watchers from like that group um, would be like looking over and you would notice it's the same guys from before. Uh, and they're the ones that didn't go with him when he left? Yes. Okay. Um, and there, were, like there were a few that like were looking over and like casting like glares at Ambrose. And it's the same like two guides, the two dragonborn who kind of like look over and you see they're like whispering to each other. And then you would catch their eyes both just look towards Ambrose and then they like look over and see you and they just kind of like. Yeah, the, the next time they look, I'm gonna like lean in front of like, if this is Ambrose, mm-hmm. I would just do one of these and then just whatever I'm eating, I just eat it while I'm staring at them. Yeah. Just they, staring and eating. They look over and they see you and then they, Roll me intimidation, actually. <laughs> yeah. They both like stare back at you. Yeah, they rolled pretty high to be unintimidated. They rolled, uh, oof. Look back at you, and they seem a little uncomfortable at first, um, but then one of them kind of like nudges the other one, and he just kind of like picks up like a, like a turkey leg and just. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I just keep staring. I give him a little. You just see like his shoulders rise and fall, like he gave it like a chuckle mm-hmm. um, before he like finishes off like a tankard of ale, stands up, and then both of them leave. I watch them walk outside. As they go, they would walk around, and then as they're like passing like your table, they would like take a detour, walk behind Ambrose, and as they do, I do. <laughs> like, like I'm stretching. I'm like, oh, man. And I'm just okay. like looking at him the whole time. Yeah, sure. So they like pass Ambrose and then look back at you. And they just stop for a second. You would rule me perception again. Please! Can I? <laughs> can I come in here? Thank <laughs> you. Oh. Thank you, mushrooms! They you would me. you would hear what one of them says under his breath. You would see that um both of them there is a um black dragonborn and the other one is like a almost like lighter red dragonborn. Mm-hmm. Um the black dra- dragonborn you would hear under his breath. I can sense this one's presence. Something follows him. Best we keep an eye on him, yeah? And then he kind of nudges the other dragon one forward and he walks, they both walk away. I'm just doing the whole fucking time. The, the black dragon board would like look down on you, but like not moving his body, just his eyes mm-hmm. look down at you. And it's, um, it's in a way where he, he might know that you heard him, mm-hmm. but he's trying to act like it doesn't bother him. Okay. Like he has his own goal. You will not deter him. Okay. As like as they're starting, as, like after they've said that, I'll like get whatever drink I have or something. I'll take a little sip and like, oh no, like I got a little extra, like on my mouth or whatever, and I'll like try to get rid of it, but like my fork tongue and shit, I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to be like a little spooky with it. Not intimidating, just like, I see you, motherfucker. I'm a demon. I'm just trying to. I don't know. Okay. I'm just like, after, I see you, fucks. Yeah. I see you. I hear you, idiots. And making sure that they are aware that I, yeah. I'm aware of Understood. their awareness. They <laughs> they are aware that you're aware. Cool. Okay. Of the fact that they're aware. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um, you guys uh, would continue feasting, eating whatever um, you Just choose cut, to. Like, a big plate of um, steak. 
Some potatoes, maybe some veggies on the yeah. side. As you are uh, eating Ornan, the there's a dragonborn beside you. This is a <laughs> big, um, big meaty dragonborn. This guy's bulky. Um, <laughs> um, you would see that this is a blue dragonborn uh, donning the Ironwood Watcher armor. Um, you would see that. Uh, she has a like scar across her uh, one of her eyes, and as you are like digging into this state, she like turns towards you and then just like, huh, this one's got an appetite, and then like three other dragonborns no! look over to you who are just like <laughs> on a stake. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're just admiring you. <laughs> That's the spirit, a true warrior. Ah, and you are, um, uh, you said, I'm sorry, I'm so bad with I'm names. I'm a rush seeker. <laughs> right, <laughs> yes, I understood that. Would you like to try again? <clears throat> uh, we are the rift seekers. There you go, and she slaps you across the back, and like your air is just like, expelled from your lungs with how forceful it was. <clears throat> oh, the rift seekers, that's right. You were a part of the um meeting, yeah. So how are we all feeling? You guys were kind of set off on your own little tasks, huh? Yeah, little, we're, uh, little we're special group. Feeling uh, pretty yeah. great about uh, what's about to happen, so pretty hopeful. Yeah. All things considered. Very nice. Well, it's always nice to have a few extra helping hands with us. Um, forces are small to compared to what they were bit. for our last great battle with um, Uthgor. Of course, I wasn't there, but one of my great ancestors were. Have you ever heard of the name uh, Stilgetma? Not no. that I know of. No. That's a ring of that. That's enough from here, so. Ah, I see. Well, my ancestor, Stilgetma, he was the one who slew Afgo the Tall. And so I'm hoping that I can do my part in battle and slay a few demons for him. Hmm. Admirable. Mm. So I take it you're uh, joining us tomorrow? Of course. Everyone here who can hold a weapon is going to join. I mean, I know some of them are a bit afraid. Combat is not... They're, they're frightened, I guess. We were all trained the same, but over the years, all we've really done is stand guard, watch over the town. A few minor scuffles here and there, but nothing we couldn't solve without violence. Uh, for some of us here, it's... Uh, our first battle so it's a it's a bit nerve-wracking for some of them but um i think i'm ready hmm. i think the battlefield calls to me so well i'll let you all enjoy your meal and uh, see you on the battlefield tomorrow yes <laughs> And she, like, stands up, finishes her ale, slams it on the table, and then... <sighs> Good night, Rift Seekers. Good night. Good night! And she, like, turns around and walks away. All right. So. God, I want to run into another serpent, like the three-headed one, but I also don't. <sighs> that is a bright red dragon one. I'm sure you'll fight one. You'll get it. It's like the satisfaction of like ripping off all three of its heads, but god damn. I have a feeling you might bring down something even more spectacular tomorrow. Uh, we'll... Like two of them! I don't want to do it. Well, the Ghidorahs. Maybe two, but smush together and you'll get to chop off six heads. <laughs> what if Whoa. I just like shove its head back in this body? <laughs> Mega Ghidorah. <laughs> <laughs> Big uh, you wanna know? I you wanna know what I really want to fight? The clown fuck! I just want to just oh. like rip his head mm. from his fucking body. Oh. I'm sick of like not having a name for it. Yeah. The fact that he just oh the clown guy, the clown bitch, the clown fuck, the clown. No. 
maybe we ask him what his name is yeah, and then like that. yell his name as like I rip his head off yeah. and then like we'll get some sort of satisfaction <laughs> the out of that. Finality of it. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. We know the name of the the bitch that's shooting those big fucking arrows and stuff. We haven't even seen him. I just want satisfaction of killing one of them. And then I want you to have the satisfaction of killing the plague. <sighs> and then the uh, the amalgamation, the fucking patchwork guy. The one that we like chopped his head no! off and then he, he like came back oh and then- Oh my God, I hate him. You'll get him. God, he's such a- God, I want the- He's so, he's so- <sighs> <sighs> That's it, the whole fucking time I hate his ass. Oh my, oh, at least now the, I'm pissed. At least the clown oh. has more fucking personality than him and I think it will be fine. Oh, now I'm riled. Save it for tomorrow, buddy. Do you want me to bring it, do you want me to bring it up again? <clears throat> so that you can just... Yes. I got no, you. I'll just remember. Right. Because this... that plague lady, I was... None of my magic worked. Sin, I think, or something? So. If you want, I can rip her limb from limb right in front of you. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be great. I would love having a hand. I just, the way that she talked about you makes me so upset. Oh, if yeah. I could, if I could, if I could borrow Ambrose's needle and thread and just sew her fucking mouth shut and then kill her after that would be so great. It would be. Outstanding. Get the fuck out of here. Do you have a spell that can like sew their mouth shut or just make uh, them <laughs> shut up? I don't have anything like that unless I mean, well, mm. I can throw a tidal wave at. That's a, that's a fun archway. I think we'll all so just have like shut. our little moments little with moments. one of them. No, no, no. I Sorry. just. That, that's his name. I just hope that this time around, I just we can know, actually do a little more damage to her. This I just know with the clown guy that the skills are matched, but he's no fucking match for me. You're hitting harder and harder by the day. Oh, I sure am. Have you? The um, only experience to gain is on the battlefield. Orlin, have you heard from Candy at all recently? No. That's why I was asking Roger Evans earlier. Oh. I see. Interesting. For the for the crowd, Audrey Evans. Odds. Devin, Audrey Evans. Odds. Uh. I'll I'll hold on. Odds. <laughs> I'm gonna try to contact Candy. Alright. <laughs> Cause it got me thinking about my red. Got me, now I'm pissed off. I'm just gonna how, how hold the two fingers. <laughs> I hope he's having Wait! I hope he's having a bad time. <laughs> I hope, I he's hope Candy a freed time. herself and just wow. tore him one from him. No, I uh, want to. I just want her to annoy him so much that he just is like He's like, fucking fine, leave. I want her to talk about the power of friendships yes. so loud and just sing Kumbaya every single night, just annoy the fuck out of him. She brings about his uh, redemption arc by annoying him. Yes. <laughs> and Kasich is like, God, maybe the power of friendship is strong enough to fix me. <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't know why, but like, uh, that reminded me of like- Pause, watching I need to use the bathroom. Understood. Um, watching like uh, TikToks and it's like, um, they'll have a whole bunch of text and it tries to be like, um, at the end, this person fucking punches someone and it never happens. And their first comment is, maybe the punch is the friendship we made along the way. <laughs> and I love that I love so like much. That. While he's going to the bathroom, We'll never Don't know what happens. Don't tell me you will Ah, that group! Piss! <laughs> Can I charge my phone? Yeah. Rift Seeker stream. Ah, I I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't, I don't know. Hey, listen. You know that. You know how that makes me feel. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Where is the lore? I 
have it. I have it. Where is the lore? Do you need me to go get the jar? Is that what this is? <laughs> no, that has Vasilius in it. We if, don't want if him. You know, if you know where that's is, then I'm scared. I don't know where it is, and now I'm scared. <laughs> As you should be. Now I'm upset because there's a jar, and I'm scared. <laughs> now there is a jar. There's a jar. It exists. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Are we good? You looked like a turtle when you did that. Thank you sweat. Mm. <laughs> turtle boy. What? Thank you, guys. <laughs> Whenever something goofy happens, he goes, which is very similar to the fucking turtle in Over the Hedge. Okay. You oh are the turtle from Over the Hedge, actually. Vern? <laughs> <laughs> They're on a first name basis. On a fucking deck! <laughs> I like Over the Hedge. It's a funny it's movie. A it's movie. a great it's, movie. It's a great yeah. movie. You should watch it drunk. It's even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still be funny if I'm tipsy but not drunk. Because I don't like being drunk. I think so. Okay. That movie's funny. Well, yeah, so Regardless, I'm, I'm just saying the experience is elevated when you're, you know. Okay. <laughs> when you're a little goof. <laughs> when you're a little goof. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking some goof juice. <laughs> Time to get goofy. Time to get goofed up. Speaking of goofy, all right, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, goofy. goofy. Goof juice. <laughs> Ladies, tower of pizza. <laughs> pizza. Double cheese. God. What a way to eat, guys. Get back. Get back, get back in there. <laughs> Max, welcome look. back. It's the Leaning the Tower of Cheats. <laughs> and we're back. Anyways, so. What do you say to Candy? I'm just going to give him a cow. A look it's like, I have not in a while, but it's, um, it was right up here today, so. I guess we'll try. Is there anything in specific I should say? I mean. Should I no. try to do the beep thing again so yeah. that she's not talking? Probably. A wise decision, but it's not like he doesn't already know we're here. If and she's he's able to talk, great. Yeah. If not, the beeping thing. Want to know how she's doing? How? Okay, I think. What's going on over there? I think I got it. Kasich and <laughs> Amberstone and all that. I'm gonna put the two in here. Uh. <laughs> Candy, I don't know if you can hear me, but everyone is here. Um, we just want to know if you're alive. Uh, if you're able to speak, saying yes or no would be great. If not, or in a dangerous, still in said dangerous situation, uh, one beep for yes, two beeps for no. Greetings, Sornin. It is wonderful to hear your voice again. Is I it, am glad you are alive and safe. Is it really you? It is I, Candy. Something feels wrong. Can I roll insight? You absolutely can. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> After she says candy, she repeats, I am the companion assistant Navigai Joy no. for you. I just look at you. Something's wrong. What do you mean? Um, She's not. You don't have to roll insight for this other piece of information. Her voice box is fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say that. that that's why I'm like, <clears throat> no, something's wrong. I was like, if she was. Go ahead and roll insight. <laughs> Give me just. <clears throat> Oh, I got scared for a second. <laughs> no. Please. Oh no. Oh, it no. was so close. Fuck. It was so close to me. Fuck. 
That was so close. It is so close. Who is it now? That's just a three. Oh. Candy seems to be well, and somehow her voice no. box <laughs> is fixed. However, you do know that she is a highly technologically advanced android, mm. so it could be that she just repaired her voice box herself. So everything's fine. So everything's fine. And she's speaking to you clearly. Does not seem like she's in any trouble. So as far as you can tell from what she said and how she is speaking, she seems to be alive and safe. Period. Did you fix your voice box yourself, or did uh, someone else help you? My voice box was repaired. By you? I am not allowed to lie. But that does not mean that I don't have to answer. I am sorry, Ornan. So, we send you directives. Yeah. Where are you <clears throat> located now? Out of everyone's safety, I cannot say. It's not that I don't trust you, because I do, in the situation, I just can't say. I understand. Stay safe, Onin. What's going on? You too. Just remember that we are coming back for you. I understand. Goodbye for now. What did you? What was going on? What did you get? What's happening? What in the nice hell was this going on? She's talking. Mm -hmm. Right. And I asked her who repaired the voice box, and asked her, "You heard if it was somebody else or if it was her?" And she didn't answer. She said that she can't lie. And then proceeded to ask where we were. So, I'm assuming that Kasich either Kasich probably modified her in order to be on her side. Because... Did you get anything else? It's just wrong. Cut that pretty short. It didn't feel right to continue talking. In this instance, you made the right call. It wasn't her. Exactly. She's compromised. I just want her back. That's the goal. Fucking goal for a lot of things. It is so personal now. It's been for at least one of us for a very long time. And the cow still gets final say in this. <clears throat> Personally, I want him dead. Then you can have that opinion. But this is Macau's. Or he can fix Candy, hand her over, and then let Macau have it. I'm not saying anything against that. I'm just saying this is Macau's line of thinking. And we'll get there when we get there. Mm. At the moment, we have a lot of other things to focus on, unfortunately. Mm hmm. I think it's rather fortunate, actually, that we have things to distract ourselves with, at least for me. You make a solid argument. Well, 
I'm done eating. I would like to go to bed now. Then go. I've lost my appetite. Okay. So? Wow, that happened last time as well. Mm-hmm. Are you guys all getting rest then? <sighs> no, I'll stay yeah. in the uh, tent for a little while, but mm-hmm. once it hits, because we're like leaving at dawn, once it starts like getting vaguely late, I will go to bed. I just don't want to get a full sleep for being able to set out at dawn, but I want to be there with the troops. In the morning or at night, sorry. At night, currently. I want to just stay in the tent with them while they feast. Mm-hmm. Just to be in their presence. Okay. And the rest of you? Yeah. I want to go straight to bed so that I can wake up early enough to, <laughs> like, greet. Like, I want to be, like, at the base of the forest. I was like, just do you leave for... with me, essentially? Or... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave with you. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so, uh, the three of you, Mikhail, you're also leaving, or what do you um, think? I'm gonna stick with whatever Ambrose is doing, or like, whatever he's doing, I am there. So if he decides, I'm gonna go to bed, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm going too. If he's like, I'm gonna have all the more to eat, I'm like, okay, I'm staying here and I'm eating too. Okay, Ambrose, so. Ambrose would agree that sleep would probably be the best for everyone okay. to get as much rest as they can um, before the... Mm-hmm. The battle that is to occur tomorrow. Uh, so. What are the sleeping arrangements like? It's like kind of just a... Uh, so, yeah, there are... Um, most of the townsfolk that have like lost their homes would be sleeping uh, somewhere like inside the inner sanctum. Like mm-hmm. small tents would be pitched up for them to sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, there are like barracks for the Ironwood Watchers. Um, around the inner sanctum okay. uh, for you guys it could either be finding a bed within like the barracks um, sleeping outside or just finding anywhere in the town that's there I mean there is possibly still inns if you want to go look for one outside of the inner sanctum um, but it just seems like most people are kind of gathered at the inner sanctum um, I'm trying to think of what would be the safest option. If there's still like a, an up and running functional inn, then I would try to find that. Okay. So that we can have a door that shuts and hopefully locks, because now I'm paranoid. Sure. If you want to go look for an inn, we'll investigation. Fuck. Amrus will help out as well. Can I... Tr- can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Why? Listen, Ambrose is stressed right now. Investigation, you said? Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Big brain. Sixteen. Oh shit. I'm a grandmother. <laughs> you definitely lead the charge in finding this in, and there would be one, um, not too far away from the inner sanctum of okay. Nasal. Uh, I need to pull up. Uh, Monsieur Ambrose is character sheet. Do you want to say about the inn? Um, what did you plan on doing? There he is. Um, okay, so. I was just thinking of staying here so I could just be at the forest entrance bright and early. We'll stay here then. I'm sleeping with the troops. Okay. I will relay where I'm going. Yeah. Where, where we're going, so yeah. that I'm like, hey, I just want to let you know. Yeah, I'm paranoid. <laughs> yeah, there is no judgment. I'm like, I'm a little paranoid. People are being a little weird. People are staring at them. We're gonna fucking go! Yeah. <laughs> like, we're out of here! Ambrose is feeling things. Fear. Yeah. Uh-huh. And for the first moment, Ambrose felt fear. <coughs> fear. Karapika is now drowning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, you would find a uh, larger inn than some of the other ones you might have seen. Um, this one looks to be almost untouched by the battle that ensued. Um, so as you guys enter, uh, there would be a uh, halfling who, like a halfling townsfolk, 
uh, basic features would be sitting at the, like the, the reception desk, and then as you guys walk into the, kind of like the common room, um, uh, they would look up to you, like curly brown hair, big blue eyes, kind of big nose. Um, Hello, looking for a room to sleep in today. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, well, I'm offering discounted, discounted, wrong page. Um, prices are going to be a little bit higher because you know, uh, like the left last in left standing. Um, so they like put gla- big spectacles on and look down. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be a gold and a half to stay the night. Um, so I had to double our prices. That you know. Sorry, supply and that's, that's understandable. Things got fucked. I saw those things. They're crazy. Hard to kill. <clears throat> yeah, and I would really. Uh, not like to see one ever again, so I'm um, hoping that yeah. the Iron Watchers can, you know, uh, rough them up. A bit. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna fuck up shop, so. Uh, you? Mm hmm. Oh, you don't look like I'm gonna watch it. Sorry, oh, I, no, I don't mean to fine. judge. No, just... no, 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 no. I'm from out of town. Uh, me and, oh. my, me and my, my pals, Rift Seekers, we're, we're gonna go fuck up shop as well. Uh, oh, you're it's like adventurous. Okay. Yeah, yes, I see. Basically. I see. I see. And so we're, we're uh, joining up with. Uh, oh, so like you're here to help, right? Yeah, we're joining up with. Okay. Ryan, yes. Uh, Spearbiter and I see. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> um, well, if you're looking here just to stay the night, I mean, uh, go ahead and roll a uh, persuasion for me. Oh, okay. That's not the goal. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm paranoid now. <laughs> you're. Oh! You're not letting my dice. It's gonna be a gold half. It's gonna be a gold half. It's gonna be a gold half. Not letting my dice cook. I'm sorry. That's how um, they roll the way that they do. Here, give me. I mean, I, 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 I'm trying to look through here, and you know, I really yes, wish there was something more I could do to no, help. No, it's maybe, fine. Like, hey, but, you know, it, we do supply and demand. You said something yes, works. and we do have a business to run. So, like, I'm just. You see that hit this like notebook that he's like flipping yeah. through. There is pages it's and pages of notes, and just, it's a massive ledger that he's written out. And it appears like this dude is going by his book, and like there is yeah. no wiggle room to like really help out someone in need. That's so, all good. Um, he's like, I'm so sorry. No, you um, don't have to apologize. It's good. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Well, it's, it's going. It's going to be a golden. You got half the business to run. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's going to be a golden and a half uh, to spend the night here. Um, yeah. Okay, then I will hand it over. And then Ambrose hands over his part of it as well. I don't want to forget, so I'm writing it down. So I have to adjust my sheet later. Cause you don't have a pencil. So you guys hand over the money and then, um, well, thank you. And I hope you do have a wonderful night and um, good luck, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. you know, good luck in the world to you. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Up you. Um, Ambrose, Ambrose just kind of keeps his head down as you guys, um, are you guys one room, two rooms? Uh, one. Okay, yeah. Uh, you guys enter a two-bedroom room. Uh, it is very nice. There is a definitely a, um, a halfling's hand in making these rooms. It's very cozy. Everything's like quaint, but it's like um, everything seems almost like compact in a okay. way, but like cozily compact. Homey and organized. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, okay. exactly. Um, it is a like dimly lit room and um, wood flooring. The beds look plush and comfortable. Mm. So, I mean, yes, you guys did pay a bit of a hefty price compared to the other inns you were in, but uh, you got good rooms. Yeah. And, and is it just like regular room? There's two beds mm-hmm. set up? And every- okay, cool. On opposite sides, yeah. Then... Is, like if there's windows, I'm drawing those fucking curtains. Yep. I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And eventually, if, if unless he says some shit, we'll wait for him to like go to sleep. And I'm like, yeah, I'm also going to sleep. And then I'm gonna take. I, I don't know how big the mattress is, mm-hmm. but I if I can't move the whole mattress, I'm grabbing all my blankets and pillows and shit, and I'm putting them directly in the middle of the room between like wherever the window is and where the door is, and I'm sleeping right there. Sure. Because so, um, I'm paranoid now. 
Okay. So, as you guys are like... I'm on the defense. Fuck with me. I'm begging you. Let me hit someone. Okay, just so... Just simmer and then just roll it. Yeah. That's right. I don't care if you can off my dice, just roll it. You are... Like making your bed and kind mm-hmm. of adjusting what you're trying to do, and Ambrose would be um, like doffing his clothes mm-hmm. and setting him up neatly, making sure everything's in its place, mm-hmm. organized, all As that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like he goes in and sits in his bed, cross-legged, and then starts like uh, tailoring what you see is um, Candy's outfit that he has been uh, making for quite a while yeah. now. It's, it looks like it's nearing completion. Um, there just needs, Ambrose is very meticulous about what he yes. does when it comes to tailoring, so it takes him a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the colors are all there, it's looking good, um, but yeah. So he kind of just sits down and starts doing that, and then you start moving your mattress, and he just like looks over to you. What if I cried? Um, <laughs> I miss her. Too late. I'm I miss there. my wife tails. I miss her very much. I do. I do miss my wife tails. That's how tails. I feel. Shut up. <laughs> what are you? Um. What's this? Huh? What do you? What do you do? Why are you moving? You're you're ruining a perfectly good bed over there. I look. I'm. I'm gonna put it back in the morning. Am I not allowed to sleep over here? Is that not? I just find it odd that you're not sleeping in your bed. I guess. Well, technically, I am sleeping in my oh, bed. Okay, I'm just wise moved guy. Here. Okay. What? No, I just just find it odd as all. That's, well, that's what I find odd is people fucking staring at you all fucking day, being weird and creepy, and I know that you're not the most comfortable, and so I'm just you know making sure that uh, things are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People are dicks. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, there were two, two fucking saucer-eyed fucks that wouldn't stop with me. They're all suspicious. I tried to ignore them. I mumbling shit. Well, it's hard to ignore them when their eyes are so fucking big and in my ass. <laughs> yeah, I su- suppose so. Uh, do you think it's wrong? That I worship who I worship? That I follow the god of fear? I I just want to know your thoughts, because you don't like the gods, but I just, I need an outside perspective. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. But like out of all the gods, he's, kind of is the most evil out of all of them. I mean, I know we're not supposed to think that dystopian gods are evil and utopian gods are good. Like they're all they're all here to 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 work together and maintain a balance on this world, but like it just it just feels like almost every place we've gone to only worships the utopian gods and they view the dystopian gods as bad and I just I, I'm afraid to say anything about it because Ryak did save my life. Exactly. He, no other god did. Tagon didn't step in. Mm-hmm. Kaiser didn't take me away. Mm-hmm. But Ryak stepped in. Mm-hmm. So why do people view him as as bad? I mean. I, I, when I came back, he gave me a, a goal to strike fear into the hearts of those who deserve it, to people who are actually bad. He wanted me to seek vengeance on those who are plaguing this world. I, and it's, that seems like a good thing. I don't know why else. I mean, of course I'm spreading his his influence as the god of fear by doing what I'd be doing, but I it just seems so 
odd that a... I don't know. You seem kind of like he loses himself in his own thoughts and just kind of buries his head in his hands. We've been with our new pals for a bit. Um, and so, I don't know, maybe some of Mirage and Dera's god shit has rubbed off on me. I don't know. I still don't. I don't fuck with them. Uh, cause that is not my business. And I don't get it. And it confuses me and I still hold a lot of, you know, my opinions about how shit they are. Um, but if there's one thing that I have figured out over the course of my life at this point, it is that, uh, we as mortals are fallible and biased. Mm -hmm. So despite the fact that, you know, Mirage's whole thing, the, like the balance and all that, yes, balance is a good thing. And so it's good that we have the, the utopian and the newtopian and dystopian and all that. Um, but people don't like fear. People don't like disease. They don't like being sick. They don't like, they don't like all that stuff that's under the dystopian category, right? Mm -hmm. So even though in the grand scheme of things, it's technically good, mortals are gonna get pissy about stuff they don't like. Yeah, that's, um, that's a good way to put it, Macau. And like you were saying, uh, Ryak kind of turned you into like an extension of his shit. You're kind of, you know, like a weapon and all that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like you, he saved your life. And yeah. in some weird fucked up way, at one point, uh, Straz kind of saved mine and for a bit I not worshipped him, but I, you know, followed and I listened and I did all that, and so... Yeah. I, I guess the difference is that he's immortal, and so he's fallible and flawed and biased and shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's similar, I guess? Yeah, no, I, I... I do understand. I just... Being in a place where they so heavily despise any dystopian god, I, I I fear that if I'm there tomorrow and the utopian gods are watch over, watch, watching over them and I am the sole person that is being watched by a dystopian god how does that affect everyone else? Will it? Uh, we already saw that those two were suspicious of me, and I, I, I didn't even do anything. It's like they—they well, they knew. Do they bring balance, though, to have both. That's what I would think, but I don't know. They, like I said, when I was walking around and seeing things, they just—it's—it's it's heresy, blasphemy, whatever you want to call it—to worship anything dystopian see this is why i don't fuck with god shit because everybody's going to have an opinion and everybody's opinion is wrong even if it's right because someone else is gonna think it's wrong what do you think there's anything i can do to show them that even though i am different i guess i, I can still help I can still do good even though I am aligned with a, a, a evil, I guess you could say, God, in their eyes at least. Just do that. Help. It's, it's, oh, so they're gonna stare at you weird because, oh, you worship the god of fear and oh, you're a spooky guy. I don't even worship any god and I'm a spooky guy. Hmm. Just, you know... Do the good stuff that's viewed as good by the masses, I guess, and then they'll be like, oh, maybe fear's not such a bad thing. Fear has kept me alive for most of my life. Yeah. So. Okay. 
you yeah. know, just do do your normal good shit. And uh Ta-da. Fear can be healthy sometimes. People just don't like being scared. Yeah. Ah. As Ambrose tries to speak up, mm-hmm. go ahead and roll perception. Hmm. This no, I use it. Use it. But you know, I'm nervous because it's been cooking, and I'm nervous it's gonna backfire on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real nervous it's gonna backfire on my ass. Okay. Is that a fourteen? It's a fourteen. Yeah, it's a fourteen. So uh, sixteen. I'm a grandma. <laughs> Not again. Can we, a, can we get a I'm a grandmother counter? <laughs> the bottom three. corner of the... So far it's been three. Thank you, Dubbin. Thank you so much. Okay. You are the grandma counter. I got it. I'm going to get you a little name tag. <laughs> grandma counter. What was your roll? Uh, 16. I'm a grandmother. Okay. So. <laughs> Stop. Cow. Destroy them. As you are talking to Ambrose and he begins to speak up, you hear coming down the hallway. Multiple footsteps, heavy, ironclad. Hey, so we really should have sunk at the end. You hear them begin to whisper in their low tone. One of them is very familiar because you heard him whisper. I just stand by the door. The innkeeper said they were in here. Yes, I lost some money on it. What of it? As long as you can find them. No. I just have some questions for him. That's all. (laughs) Gets closer. Bro, please, I just changed my alignment. I just turn to Ambrose and I just... You see Ambrose go, like, try to grab for his, like, clothes. Go over by the door. And I put my ear up to it. Hello? <clears throat> uh, yes, it is the Ironwood Watchers. We are, um... We, uh... Uh, Brom, sorry, was seeking you. Risk seekers, yes? Uh, yeah, what does Brom want? He wanted to go over some things before tomorrow. Wasn't Brom the one that walked in? I know he's full of shit. <laughs> I don't gotta roll, I know he's full of shit. Um, I mean, I've already talked to him and also Spearbiter, so... I mean, was there anything pressing, or...? There was some new information that has arose, and he thought it would be best to come speak to you. Unfortunately, we don't have the information. I we was just, just come going to, grab to say. You. <laughs> well, uh, can you give me a few minutes to get decent? Yes, we'll be waiting outside. All right, I'll be there in a sec. I turn around and look at Ambrose and I just go... <laughs> and then I, you know, and then I kind of grab some of my things. Leave out the window. Leave out the window. Hold on, I'm cooking. I'm cooking a plan. Fuck! I have no key points. Okay, that's fine. Oh, shit. Yeah. This is not hey. a good time. Hey! Hey! Uh, 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 shut! All right, curse was just casted on me. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh like God. six different emotions just all at once. I'm just like, A hey. new emotion. <laughs> A new emotion. <laughs> Shut. Okay. What are you doing? I mean, Ambrose would be like fully fucking set. Yeah, Ambrose is still. Pass without trace. Just uh, like leave out the fucking window. I'm going to turn to him and just. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, he I, does just that. Okay. You feel a cold, like uh-huh. shift in the room. All right. And he molds with the shadows. The flames on like the the candles in the room just flicker, okay. and he's gone. 
Is his bed made still? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to... His clothes are still there, though. I'm going to grab his clothes, okay. toss them onto the my, my bed frame, yep. and then toss my blankets back up onto the bed. Not without... Like, if the mattress is off, that's fine. I'm just going to toss my blankets up there and make it look like I was readjusting shit because I'm uncomfortable. Okay, and then I'm going to, like, untuck my shirt slightly and then open the door as I'm tucking it back in so it looks like I was getting redressed. Okay. Okay. And then I will step out and shut the door behind me. As you step ah! out the door and make a dexterity saving throw, <laughs> as the black dragonborn, they said they'd wait outside, you never heard them left. You yeah. open the door and you just hear, <laughs> and a big black it's dragonborn cool. hand reaches for your throat and tries to clasp around you. Ow! Are you fucking kidding? Oh. So... You are lifted up off the ground. You're being choked one-handed oh by this God. black dragonborn. Okay. The bright red dragonborn um, then like swings oh open God. the door the rest of the way oh, and barges into the room and looks around. I have more hit points, don't worry. This isn't accurate. Hey, he's not here. Yeah, he stepped out for the evening. The black dragonborn like looks at you. He's got like acid green eyes and stares at you. He's been a little stressed out, so he's taking a walk. Where? Outside. Wonderful. I could use some fresh air. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Still like choking you, he like throws you down to the ground. Um, and before you can like pick yourself back up, he just like presses like his foot on top of you and like this entire dragonborn, all of his weight and all the armor just like presses into your back and you just yeah. hear it like your bones start to crack. They don't like it's just break. They just, He's popping my back. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, oh, oh. And all the air from your lungs just. <gasps> yeah. And then he would like um, bind your like hands and wrists together and like lift you up and then lead you outside. Okay. Um, the halfling is not there at the desk when you leave. Um, you would hear like thrashing in your room as things are getting like tossed around and then the red dragonborn would follow you outside. So he goes outside with you still bound and just kind of like tosses you to the cobblestone ground. I'll just very, I'll get back up. I'll stand. <laughs> he like, he is taller than you so he kind of like yeah. gets down to your eye level. So where is your friend? Hmm? The stranger. Your kind. Mm. Forked tongue. Mm -hmm. Beady eyes. Unnatural horns growing on your head. Well, I told you he's outside. Doesn't seem to be around. Well, like, we, we just, first of all, we just stepped outside. I gave you quite a vague answer, because that's about all I've got. So, I don't know, we can go on a walk together, sunless stroll in the night, I don't know. What's your AC? 16. Okay. He throws a punch into your gut. It doesn't hurt, mm -hmm. but it's just enough force to you to be like, <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. And he like leans in closer. I know. I can smell the scent. Mm -hmm. They are to disrupt everything that we have done. I will not allow that. Are you a... Uh, are you a captain by chance? What do that have to do with anything? Well, I'm just wondering. You seem to have some sort of air of authority about you, or at least you think you do, and so you're just making choices for the... for the entirety now? For the whole? I'm doing what's good for the Ironwood Watchers. Right. Yes. I don't have to be a captain for that. Were you one of Ogiron's? You see him like look up towards the bright red dragonborn who's like trying to stand intimidatingly mm -hmm. beside him. What of it? Just wondering, were you one of Ogiron's? Yes, and? Makes sense. He taught you how to be pussies. <laughs> <laughs> His fist is going to collide into yeah. your face. Yeah. You take six points of bludgeoning okay. damage as you just... Okay. 
straight into your jaw. You feel like blood inside your mouth. Oh, that would have been a thing somewhere. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. You seem uh, capable of actually helping us. Mm-hmm. I would hate to see this potential go to waste. Well, my friend taught me everything I know, so. Well, not everything. I, you know, I learned most of this shit by myself, but, uh, you know, he kind of tightened the reins a bit until I figured my shit out. Do you always talk this much? Hmm? Mm-hmm. You must be stressed. No. I pride myself on my sense of smell. You are, uh, you seem just, you are a strong fighter, and I respect that. Thank you very much. Mm. So where is your friend? That is all I need to know. I just want to talk to them. Well, I mean, I don't exactly remember the last place I saw him, considering we were outside. And we are outside, so yeah. why don't you lead the way? Well, I mean, there's a whole lot of outside. Do you have any particular direction you want me to start the going in? bright red dragonborn, you can see, like, he's done playing games mm-hmm. now, and he just... I'm not! <laughs> he's not gonna tell us. This was obviously some ploy. A ruse. A ruse? Oh. You know, I thought you had some bit of intelligence. And he stands oh, up to like no, his No, a forehead. ruse means... I'm just offended, I guess. Oh, it's okay. Shh. Unsheaths a longsword. You won't be feeling anything soon. And as he like raises up, you hear, <laughs> Stop! Both no. of them turn around no. at the entrance of the inn. Ambrose stands oh, there. Fuck! Okay, okay, cool. What are my bindings made out of? Uh, it's just rope. How tight's that shit? You look- it's pretty tight. They were not, they were not gentle. Do you have thaumaturgy as- Nope. I might do something real fucking stupid. Go ahead. You know what's really funny? Hmm. You've done a lot of work with kicking people. Mm-hmm. And you have a physical <laughs> leg. Yeah, I was, I'm, th- I'm having two different thoughts right now. Uh, because... Oh, they're evens, baby. Mmm, roll me a D100. That's new. Um, 89. <laughs> what's happening? I'm gonna pee my pants! <laughs> I'm going to pee my pants. That is way more than enough than what I. Oh shit. To. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Chug it. Chug it, but you couldn't mute it. Macau, you have an option. What do you. What do you. Explain to me exactly what you're feeling right now. What do you mean? What, what is, what is Macau feeling? feeling and what did you want to do? Um before Ambrose showed up? No, or? right now, in this very moment. Ambrose has showed up and said, stop, all eyes are now on Ambrose. What do you, what do you- Terror, what? just, oh fuck, what are, like confusion, a little bit of anger, what are you doing is basically what, okay. and then and the, what I wanted to do was I wanted to either break or dislocate one of my wrists so that I could get the rope off and then just have one arm to just, and just start wailing on bitches. Are you wanting to- Attack. Yeah. It's what he does best. It's what he knows. And in a, in a state of panic, they were because they were about to kill me, which likely means they want to kill him or hurt him, and I don't like that, and so my instinct is to fight someone. Because also they were about to kill me. Hey, self-defense. Go fuck yourself. You're not a fuck. You're not a good watcher, bro. You're you are not for the cause. You you cuck. As of right now, your hands are 
bound, yep. trying to dislocate your arms or doing something would hurt you immensely. And you are feeling so much terror right now and fear for your friend. Yeah. For a moment, this adrenaline flushes your entire body. And it's almost like time freezes for a moment. Okay. You feel gentle, warm hands wrap around your chest, and then you see another pair of hands wrap around your stomach. Okay. You don't see her face, but there's like a golden glow on the side of your face, and you can see just her lips move. Fuck it. Do not fear, Macau. I can see into your heart. Just this once. Allow me to release some of your potential. Her hands gently <gasps> caress down to your leg. <laughs> Her hand reaches down to like your knee where there is like this gyroscopic like yeah. ball. Yeah. Her hand like it's becomes sex. ethereal for a moment, it's reaches sex. in, it begins to glow and you feel lighter for a moment. And all of a sudden you leap to your feet and you kick out your leg and your leg disconnects. And like a rocket (laughs) shoots up into the black dragonborn's jaw. And you just hear (laughs) as this thing collides and sends him flying. Your leg flies out and then (laughs) goes back and hits the red dragonborn as he like turns around and just (laughs) right. His entire face becomes concave as the force of this leg just (laughs) and he collapses to the ground and the leg just (laughs) parts of it come back together and then connect back oh. into your knee. That golden glow begins to fade. You were lucky this time, Macau. And she fades away. And Ambrose just stands there just... I, I was gonna say something cool, but okay. I guess we don't have to worry anymore. What the hell was that? <laughs> God shit! Are they are they conscious? No. <laughs> Those bitches are asleep. Oh my god. What do you mean, God shit? We just had to talk about this. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ambrose like runs over there and unreleases your bindings. And then, like, puts his hands, like, on your shoulders and, like, gets to your eye level. Are you, what is, are you okay? What, I, I think that was sweet. What? <laughs> she was like, she's on her, like, arms, and then we're, like, arms, and I was like, whoa. And then she was like, side fix then Okay, we- let's get back to the room first. I don't want to be uh, out here, please. What about... I I oh, I man, I can't even drop a fucking one liner on them. I I don't know what to do. I... <laughs> Should I? Should I, I, I don't know what to do. Call Bron. I feel like I'm buzzing. Um. I don't know. Should we leave them? <laughs> I say we leave them. I don't think they're gonna be going anywhere. Even if they do wake up, there's no way they're gonna be coming after you again. Okay. Let's just go back to the room. And, like, <laughs> grabbing your wrist, he, like, leads you back to the room. Your room looks to be a bit trash. One of the cupboards was, like, knocked over. Ah. Um, but, like, otherwise, it's still okay. So Ambrose and you, like, lift the cupboard back up. They, like, we tidy up the room. And then he, like, sits you down. And as you're still, like, buzzing. Oh, okay, okay. What happened? I was only out there for, like, a second. I don't know. I just... So, uh, I don't know if it was Cyfix or like a different one, like showed that. No, because Cyfix is broken. That wouldn't make any sense. Explain to me what it looked like. So it was a lady. 
Um, that okay, that's two, like maybe half of the gods. Two sets of arms. That leaves like maybe two she left. Was very handsy. Um, and then, dude, dude, she fucking like. Did, she, did you smell roses? No. That leaves Boom. only one. She was like shiny, and she was like, let me release your potential. And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Because she's weird. like touching on me and shit. But then my leg was like, what the fuck? And it came back and she says, what did she say? Uh, oh, shit. You were, you were lucky this time. Oh. The god of luck. I can't believe it. <sighs> Cassade? Really? Let's fucking go. You mean bomb, baby. But how did she... I don't know. I was just... I, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do, and then it just happened. I just moved. Wow. Can you do it again? Maybe. But I don't know if I can do it right now. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Well, um, I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Well, there you go. That was sick. God stuff. Yep. Are you okay? I you good? Fine. I'm they fine. didn't fuck with you at all. The red one scared me a little bit because I thought he was gonna find me, but he didn't. So, I, I, I think, I think we're okay for tonight. Now, okay. um, whew, maybe we should get some rest. That was a lot of stuff. Yeah. I feel tingly. Yeah, are you gonna be able to get any sleep? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah but shall we? Okay. For sure. Um, I'm gonna, okay. And yeah. Ambrose goes over and like, takes off his clothes again and then like gets into bed and then puts on his covers and just like, turns over. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, oh. just. <clears throat> yeah. I think I'm. Yeah. Because I was very. <laughs> yep. Yep. I yeah. <clears throat> I get it. So. Okay. Well. Good night, Mikhail. Yeah. Good night. Thanks for saving me again. Yeah. You sure you're okay? I'll I'll be fine. Okay. Just a lot to think about, but now's not the time. To think about. Don't worry about it. I shouldn't have said anything. And Ambrose <laughs> flops over <laughs> and then covers over his head and goes to sleep. Everyone's in all this. Just I don't know why it's I will go to sleep. I will get my mattress back up on the bed. Okay. And then I will make sure the door is locked. Very good. And then I will go to sleep. Okay. So. Mirage, Ornan, you guys would get some rest somewhere within the inner sanctum. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, Dara, you're kind of waiting for everything to conclude, right? Yeah, I'm waiting for people to settle down, and I'm going to go rest with the soldiers. Even if there's not, like, a spare cot, I will just sleep on the floor. Yeah, sounds good. Um, most of them would head towards the barracks. Some of them would actually, like, pitch a tent outside. Um, so it's just your choice of sleeping outside or inside. I will sleep outside and pitch a tent with them. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Um, you would pitch a tent and there would be three other dragonborns who would be sleeping in that tent with you. Um, two of them are green dragonborns. One's like a darker shade. One's a lighter shade. And then another one would be a silver dragonborn. And they um, all help you, like, put up the tent, make sure there's enough space, uh, set out, like, their own little um, sleeping bags. Um, and then, like, throughout the and time setting up the tent, there'd just be, like, uh, idle chatter. Uh, they'd be talking to you, asking, like, your name, what are you doing? Uh, they know, like, you're a reef seeker. Yeah. Like, where have you been? Just kind of, like, those things. Just making um, talk with you. And then you get to know a little bit about them as well. Um, the two uh, green dragonborns are uh, brother and sister. Uh, they joined up in the Ironwood Watchers um, because they're uh, father before them did it and so they kind of wanted to 
uh, honor him by joining the Iron Watchers. Um, their mother and younger siblings do live in the town of Nasal. Um, and then the Silver Dragonborn doesn't speak a lot, um, but he, the in the time that you guys were like talking together, uh, the Silver Dragonborn really just is, he's not anxious about fighting, but he really wants to test his mettle. You know, really wants to prove that he is a good fighter. Um, while you guys are like just about ready to rest, you would see him actually practicing uh, with his long sword and shield, like kind of doing like battle stances and different maneuvers and stuff like that. Um, you can see that he like pushes himself to his limit before he um, beds down for the night. Yeah, you get to little, you get to know a little bit more about some of the Iron Watchers um, during your time here, and um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will idly chat with them, mm -hmm. and then I will lay down for the night and uh, write out a prayer. Okay. Very good. All right. So, day would come as you all get a long rest, depending on how you feel for the upcoming battle. Sleep could differ between you all. Some of you might rest peacefully. Some of you might toss and turn for most of the night, knowing of what's to come the danger that lies ahead, the risk of everything. So, other than that, the sun waxes, light pours down on the biosphere once again. You are in the town of Nasal, nestled in this lovely forest, the Brookbond Forest. So the smell of like a lush forest, kind of like morning dew, um, would permeate the air, um, but you all would awake, and, uh, Dara, you would be the first out of, well, you'd be the first to notice, Mirage and Ornan, you would also eventually hear this as well, um, as you kind of awake and people are getting ready to like tear down tents and begin their march to the raised fortress, um, you would hear of a commotion coming kind of from the entrance of the inner sanctum. As you like make your way over there, the three of you, um, you would see barreling down the cobblestone road to the inner sanctum are two horses and on the back are um, Dragonborn Ironwood Watchers. They, um, you know, are from Ogiron's troop. And they rush to the inner sanctum. Uh -oh. I'm gonna follow suit pretty yeah, quickly. Cheers out for them. I was yeah, like, I don't me. like them bitches, mm -hmm. but I'll hear what they have to say. What's possible timing? Pause. Whoa. What is this? Yeah. <gasps> Smell him. <laughs> <laughs> Me every time I put it on. Like... Ooh. Yeah. Um, put that on. It is. Uh, if you look up the artist hey, on June, Instagram, I sent it. Yeah. After after it's been sitting for a while too, it gets oh, a little. It smells like it a, gets essential mustier. oils. Um, mm -hmm. Like a. God, there, my, there's like I, a, my mom used to be huge into essential oils. There's, and there's, she a, had a, whole, there's a whole size. She had a sleep yeah, uh, essential oil, and this smells almost exactly like it. It's so nice. Uh, and after you've been wearing it for a while, and it kind of like settles in, it gets a little bit muskier, kind of woodsy almost. Can I use it? Yeah. It's very I'm nice. I'm not gay, but if Dio smelled like that, bro. Bro, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, that is what I'm saying. Switch in size. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even fucking around, dude. Switch inside. Time him like a tree. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just can't decide if I want to do. I can cosplay Jesus Christ as a stand user. <laughs> I, I just can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, two dragonborns from Ogre Run's troop are riding up right. on horses into the inner sanctum. Fuck. 
the gates are open and they run through into the inner sanctum. Um, immediately, Brom, Spearbiter, and uh, the majority of the Ironwood Watchers uh, that have awoke have um, come together in this area. You three also there as well, Mirage, uh, Ornan, and Darum. Yep. Um, these two Dragonborns, as they approach, look very, very wounded. They got scratches all over their body. Their armor seems to be um, scratched and like bitten through. Um, they look worse for wear. So um, one of them is like barely conscious, like hanging onto the horse's reins, almost like slumping over. Uh, the other one seems to be a bit more lively and like hops off his horse and Brahm immediately goes over, like puts a hand on his shoulder and then like lets him like sit down on the ground, like recover his strength and Brahm like goes to his level and um, just asks, what happened? What, where did you go? Where is Ogeron? And the soldier like looks up with like tears like now streaming down his eyes, got big dragonborn eyes looking up at him and goes, he traitor, he told them we're coming. I thought, I thought we were going to escape, but no, he, he told them. And the demons, they said they would trust him only if he would sacrifice his men. And he did. He went against everything that he was trying to say. He... I don't know what he was thinking. So th they came after us. We were only barely able to escape. And Ogron, he went with the demons. They know we're coming. They amass our army as we speak. They're coming through the Abyssal Mirror. Brom, there are too many of them. Brom looks down to this dragonborn. We cannot abandon this fight. We have the spirit of a forest at our side. Have hope, brother. And he like clasps him on the shoulder and he stands up and everyone is now like looking at him with like fear in their eyes. Brothers, sisters. This does not change anything. We march for the raised fortress. Gather your supplies. We leave. Now. And so they gather everything. Uh, there's now a much larger commotion as everyone rushes to grab their gear, grab their mounts, and get ready to leave. Um, the two uh, dragonborns are kind of taken away by some medics. Um, Brom looks like um, he has everything together. Like this is a turn, uh, a situation that has arose, but he still seems ready to leave. He seems ready to lead, lead this fight and to lead the offensive against the Black Room Demons. Nothing seems to have phased him still. He's just trying to keep up morale for everyone else. Uh, Spearbiter looks to be um, talking to the dragonborns who are wounded, and she actually goes with them as the medics take them away. Um, Nakoa does not seem to be around at this time. So, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm on my way to the sanctum. Wonderful. You and Ambrose yeah. are running there. Uh, this whole thing, they would kind of disperse, and you would see everyone gathering their gear as you are making your way there. Is the person back at the fucking front desk going to leave? Because I assume yes. we have to like turn in our keys and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. As I'll go to like set the keys down on the counter, and I'll set them there, but I'll keep my hand over them. And I'll just lean forward a little bit. How much gold did they give you? I, I beg your pardon. The dragonborn. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And he like looks away sheepishly. I understand that your, uh, you know, supply and demand, you have a business to run because you're the only functional inn in the area. Maybe you remain trustworthy with your clientele or they will take their business elsewhere. I'm sorry. I, I, 
they threatened me. I had no choice. Remember, you took their gold, huh? They said it was hush money. Have a good fucking day. And I just push everyone out of the building. <laughs> yeah, and you guys make your way out. The bodies are not there on the ground. Nice! There's a bit of blood stain on the cobblestone, but that's about it. Right. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Pause. Can you grab my food from out there, please? Just yeah, so I got you. Nom, 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 nom. You can just put it on the counter. I just don't want it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so. You and Ambrose make your way to the inner sanctum. Uh, everyone, the crowd will be dispersing. You would meet up with the rest of your friends. Um, Brom seems to be kind of like leading soldiers in different areas, getting his own gear ready. Spearbiter is um, over in like this medic ward with the two um, wounded dragonborn and Nikola is nowhere to be seen. So what are you guys doing? Hey, what the fuck? Traitor. We've been betrayed. What on? We'll get wrong. We'll get wrong. He sacrificed his men. They know we're coming. But they know we're coming. They don't know of our allies. Okay. What are the um, the nice things that we have? I'm just getting madder and madder the longer we spend here. This place. Well, good thing we're getting ready yeah. to go. So yeah. keep the anger right yeah. here. Let's do our best and purge this filth. Have this up once clean place again. Can I do my worst? As in just... I want you to do the Ornan thing. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I can do that. Do the Ornan thing. Uh, You'll figure it out. Holy shit, guys. What? No, nothing. What? Um, No, No, we're good. No talk? No, no, you're fine. fine. Okay. Okay. We're good. All right. Okay. Let's march onward. Let's, Let's protect some people. I missed something. Um, Same. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, trees. Hey, Eve, we you, know you, trees. you know you can tell us, tree. right? We got tree you good? People, tree people. What's yeah. up? Yeah, some tree people. No, no. You know what's up? Hey, I was no, just hey, a little no, distracted. Did, hey, 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 hey. Oh my god. You're nervous, <laughs> aren't you? No, hey. A little, but we got this. Yes. We've done crazier things. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah, we've cheated death. Yeah. We literally death bonded, so yeah. it. Yeah, not even till death do we part. Period. Yeah. So, um, trees. arguably, you're wrong on that front. Okay. For one reason. Oh my god. Death didn't keep you idiots apart. Yeah. You want to fact check death. anything else, big brain? Why are we fucking up shop? Keeps us together. Yeah. Let's get everyone together and then we can head out. I have um, something I wish to say. I was like, I'd like to go oh, talk okay. to Bra. Yeah, I'm gonna. I guess Checking we... Checking out our tree allies. Did you remember if they said they were going to meet us there? There. Okay. All right. Kind of, kind of It'd be real inter- entertaining if we step outside and there's trees there. I was kind of hoping to hitch a ride, but, you know. Well, that would have been... Sc- I was like, do your thing. Like, no. Oh. You need to go talk to Brom? Yeah, we should probably go talk to Brom. Well, you said you wanted to, so I was just double-checking. Want to make sure that uh, he is okay? He's not. Probably not. That's There's why no I said okay missing. with a question mark at the end. You've led the- battles before. How confident were you? You know how he's feeling. Go talk to him. Okay. Can you, um, there were, there were two righteous pricks that uh, tried to kill me last night. Um, what? Oh, what? What? The, 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 we can, we can this is not later. the focus. We can get to that later. Uh, uh-huh. Black Dragonborn, uh, bright red Dragonborn are likely injured in the face. If you could just ask him about them and make sure that uh, they are nowhere fucking near us if they're coming to fuck up shop as well. Well, they're probably with Ogiron. That's probably where they went back. Mm. No, they were here. But I mean, just if, as long as you know they're nowhere, I don't okay, want okay, them fucking. Okay, I got it, I got it, I'm going. Thank you. I don't want them fucking this whole I thing. I appreciate up. that, yeah. I'd vote to Brom. I'd okay. ask if you were okay, but you seem perfectly fine. I have 
Something to tell you. At we some can get point. back to this later, yeah. Fine, Rom just... is currently getting his gear ready. Uh, he appears to be readying a mounted, like, um, or a horse with, like, armor on and everything. Um, so he's just, like, tightening the straps, making sure everything's good. Um, you see him, like, put both of his hands, like, the horse's back, and then kind of, like, lean back and put his head down for a second before he, like, lifts it up and just... <sighs> he turns around and sees you there and goes, Oh! <clears throat> Sorry, did not see you there. Uh, what then? How are you? You seem like rush over to like uh, some other Iron Man watcher and like help start helping him strap on a shield and stuff. Um, not quite sure how I feel yet. We'll uh, I'll, uh, assess my emotions once we get there and kind of see what we're dealing with. But the more important <laughs> question is, how are you? Busy. What does it look like? No, I came, came in to ask a question. How are you feeling? Roll persuasion. I can count it on one hand. What is with fives? <clears throat> I... I am doing well, my friend. And he like turns to you and like faces you and then like places his hand on your shoulder. I need everyone at their best right now. Hmm? And you need to be at your best as well. He gives you a smile and you can sense like it's wavering, but there is still some strength there. I am trying. It's... There is, uh, there is a lot. Right now, one man. No, I I understand, but this is your first battle this big. Yes. And I will make sure that we all come home alive. Hmm? But, and he like turns to you and then with both hands on your shoulders, like looks directly in your eyes. You are a strong warrior. Hmm. I need you to be at your strongest and to go beyond your limits for today. That is what I am asking of you. Can you do that for me? I plan on doing so. I don't need a repeat of what has happened in the past. I don't need that to happen again. I do not know your past, Ornan, but I can assure you, today will be a glorious victory. As long as you stand by our sides and stand by your friends. We got this. And he like clasp you and then like stands up and he turns around and goes back to his work it's like i plan to i just i'm gonna do my best to make sure that you don't have to feel the pain that i felt as he's like walking he turns to you and then gives you another smile i'll hold you to that thank you Ornan. you're welcome and he goes over and starts helping other iron soldiers get their gear on i'm gonna start helping them as well Okay, sure. Um, go ahead and I was roll. like, I was like, this is something I've probably done before. Sure, just go ahead and roll a, a d20 plus your proficiency. Okay, seven. Um, okay, you try to go help some soldiers, but you seem to be uh, a bit shaky yeah, yourself. Like, um, a lot it's of memories, been a long time. A lot of memories start flooding back into your head. This seems very reminiscent of your last great battle. You remember preparing your own soldiers to fight, your own warriors, your friends, your family, your blood. And you know what happened. You don't want it to happen again. But now you know the odds have turned against you with Ogaron telling the demons that you are coming. Sever his fucking head from his neck. So you seem a bit scared, and some of those soldiers start to notice as you try to help them, and they like look to you and keep asking you if you're okay. It's just that I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Rest of you. I'm getting. I'm fucking stretching. I'm getting all limbered up. I'm getting my. I'm getting my heart rate up. 
my okay. temperature. I'm trying to like, <laughs> I'm building. I'm just rah, rah. sure. Roll me an acrobatics check. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, I got a good enough for that one. Go. Oh! How? <laughs> I, don't take it. I fucking another one, bro. You are cursed right now. Yeah, he's cursed. Uh, seventeen. <laughs> 17, okay. Give yourself three temporary hit points for stretching and limbering yeah. up. Nice. Yeah. Okay, rest of you guys. Um, Real quick, I wanna know where my little fragment is pointing. Wonderful. You focus on the fragment and you like hold it in your hand. As you were like scanning, it starts vibrating pretty violently compared to before in a very specific direction away from the town and kind of in the opposite direction of where you traveled into the forest. Okay. Go ahead and roll insight. Give a sight, Seven. What is happening today? You can't Guys, get it together. <laughs> Your intuition kind of fails you and you don't really know exactly where it's pointing or leading you to, unfortunately. It's close. It is close. It's probably down in the dungeon. Yeah. That power would be very useful on a day like this. <sighs> Anything else you would like to do, Mirage? Meditate just for a second, and you're like, huh. I'm fucking Usta. <laughs> <laughs> you get out your essential oils, and you're like, Oasis. <laughs> Oasis. Oasis. <laughs> Up in the sky. Uh, we go after it, but I also don't know how much time I have. Not much. Everyone is preparing Sorry. to leave at a moment's notice. At Brahms Go, everyone leaves. Fuck it, I'm stretching too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roll acrobatic stretch, sure. Right. Let's fucking go. Roll for stretch. I pulled something. Oh, oh no! no. What's that total? Oh my Damn! god! Another five and another seven. What the seven. fuck is happening? Fuck. Hey, guys, we need to get our shit together. <laughs> or yeah. we're going to die. We're getting the battle rolls so, out before. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Unfortunately, Mirage, you do try to stretch. You see Macau limbering up and he, being very flexible. Um, you see him do like all these advanced like maneuvers and you try doing some of that. And the moment you kind of like, you kind of bend down to stretch out kind of like your pelvis and like your thighs. And the moment you do, you just feel, oh, oh, <laughs> oh no. Have I, just, I just like prop myself back up yeah. with the staff. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's you how good? it goes. You okay over there? I might have done something wrong. You won't help. I would love to. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> was that a question? It did not seem like a question. <laughs> it, it was more of a, you need help. No, I, like, yeah, the way I heard it help. was, you want help. <laughs> there is no help. question here. No, uh, I, sure. I will help. Go ahead some, and get stretches um, in there. roll acrobatics for Mirage to help stretch out. Okay, excuse me. I'm hopeless in my- Oh! 22. Oh, damn! damn. I do this Give so. yourself four temporary hit points oh. for Mikhail helping you uh, limber up. Thank you. Thank you, Mikhail. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I'm holding the pole, I just do the splits. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. When did we get there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dara. Oh! Anything you want to do before you guys go off to battle? I am waiting for everyone to convene at the front gate, and then I have something I wish to say. Wonderful. Um, Ambrose would actually come back to the group. Um, I spoke to Spearbiter and the, mm-hmm. the two wounded. Um, I don't think Ogron actually sacrificed them. It... it I don't know if they didn't hear him right or 
something. They said that Ogeron brought them to the fortress, and then they overheard his true plan. They were Some of the soldiers down. tried to leave, and the mm. demons didn't let them. Apparently, these two were in the back, and all they saw were the demons attack after Ogeron spoke to them. They thought that Ogeron brought them there to die. I don't think that's the case. Wait, so he brought it. Oh, wait, I'm confused. So he brought his men to the fortress. I think Ogeron had some other plan to stop the demons, but instead got caught up in something. I'm just saying I don't know if I don't know if Ogeron really is the traitor or if if he is in trouble or what he. I don't know his true intention. That's all I'm saying. Is there an extra horse around, or extra horses for us? Yes, there would be horses for you guys. Yay! Cool. I would like to request to ride next to Braum. Okay. In the, in the front lines. Very good. So, uh, that's all that Ambrose has to say. Um, at some point, as you guys are re- like regrouping together, um, you would see Nikoa appear at some point. Um, shaking in his boots, Nikoa is frightened beyond fear. He can barely walk, can barely stand, can barely move anything. You see him like trying to gra- grasp his staff and it is like shaking violently and it drops at some point. He tries to like bend over and get it and it's so hard for him to get back up. Um, you would see Brom come over and help Nikoa and then again kind of like on his knees speak words to Nikoa and you would see Nikoa kind of like soften a bit and become calm um, before Brom gets up and again goes to help other people and Nikoa would like find a, a pony that was given to him and mount up and then you would see like his face becomes like numb like there really is no emotion he is lost inside of his own thoughts and feelings right now uh, because it's almost like from what you can see on his face, an impending dread, almost. He knows that there is no escape to this, that he has to do this, but he doesn't know if he's gonna come back alive, is what you can sense from him. It is very clear. Okay, so you are all given horses. Um, All your equipment is on you guys, and you reconvene by the front gates while people are kind of already um, riding out with Brom, um, you would see um, Brom um, just like lifts up his warhammer, um, don full iron wa- Ironwood Watcher armor, and um, very simply just tells people to follow him. And some people are still getting ready, but he is already just trying to get people to to move out as quickly as possible, so that there's no chance for the Blackland demons to um, amass too much of an army to stop them. So. They are already starting to ride out. Um, you would count, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna get to you. You would count there's maybe at least a little over 300 soldiers in total. Okay. Okay. The five of you, or four plus Ambrose, would regroup at the gate. Dara, what would you like to say? I wanted to have the soldiers there, that's why I was like trying to- Oh! Yeah. yeah. We'll have it, okay, rewind before the soldiers leave. Yeah. Brahm is getting everyone ready, ready to leave. What would you... Pause, I want good music for this. <laughs> it's not that long, goodness gracious. That's fine. It's just a quick, let's fuck them up! <laughs> let's get them, team! Let's show them what for! Go ahead, Dara. Okay. Um, what I would do is I would go stand in front of the gate alone, mm-hmm. facing out towards the hordes of people as they strap themselves up. Mm-hmm. I would wrap my old holy symbol around my fist and uh, I need my horn back. <sighs> Thank you.
and it starts out rather soft. He starts speaking. Seems like he's trying to address people, but he's not quite ready. Okay. To calm, I call upon your aid once more. I ask you to be my to. Oh. I ask you to shield my allies in your light. Yeah. Be their aegis against the darkness. Let us be the hammer you wield as you strike this anvil. Grant us the courage and strength to drive back these demons. Ironwood Watchers, join me in battle, my brethren. Let us destroy this scourge. Together! Together! Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All of them, as you start praying one by one, you would see eyes like look up towards Dara, and then yeah. as he raises his voice to bring the morale of everyone up, to unite them as one, all of them together stop what they're doing, look up at him, yeah. and then as he finishes, everyone starts chanting and cheering. Um, Brom would even stop and just look like just, like the gift from the gods was just sent to him. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Nothing Brom could have said could have ever done this. Yeah. And yet, an adventurer from a far off land that by some miracle, by some divine grace of the gods. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This cleric, this druid has been placed before his yeah. friends, his allies comrades, brothers and sisters in arms. And he just united everyone yeah, against their foes. Yeah, bitch. You can give the inspiration nice I to- I will do that. To, to, I will do that. Yeah. To uh, the prayer, I'll do that. <laughs> everyone can give themselves five temporary hit points. Yeah. As Dara just gave an inspiring Let's speech to everyone. Yeah, I assume. Erase three, put five. Yes. <laughs> Not eight. Fuck yeah. After your rousing speech. Where did I? <laughs> the Iron Watchers who are ready all mount their horses. Brom would ride up uh, just beside you, clasp your shoulder. Yeah, bitch. No word spoken. He just bows humbly to you and then turns to his soldiers, raises his war hammer points yeah. and leads the charge to the raised fortress. It's like right okay. before then I'd like to be right next to side him and I'm just gonna grab his shoulders like together today yeah. we fight together as one. Yeah. And we will win. I we will. Let's go. <laughs> look straight forward. Brom, before you go, I know we keep interrupting you. That's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> I have an old war horn that I think would be best for you to blow in this fight. <gasps> so what are you giving him? The Carnix. The fucking Carnix, bro. You offer him the, the Carnix and he just holds it in his hands. Get long and fuck me. Perhaps I was never meant to be the one to lead. He looks over you. You are a brave man, Dara. Courageous. Oh, I'm terrified. But you do not show it. I don't know, man. Then despite your fears, you... You have gone against Ryak himself. And now... You are one with the Iron Watchers. Can you feel it? You can. Their hearts beat as one because of you, Dara. I could not have done that. I'm sorry, boy. That was you. <laughs> yes. And now it's your turn to take the lead. I shall not fail you, Dara. Good. Because I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> Allow me to take the charge then and the responsibility of the Ironwood Watchers, my friend. You got this. If anyone got it, it's you. I... We're all going to survive. 
we will see the next dawn, my friends. <laughs> Let us ride. And I want to, <laughs> and I want to like ride my horse over to Nakona. Nakoa, yeah. Yeah, Nakoa. And during that time, I want to turn on mage armor. Okay. And I just want to like be next to him just to bring him comfort. Like <sighs> the two mages got to stick together. Your turn to be the hero today. Nakoa just like. No hero. I'm terrified. I, I, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> you see, he starts like hyperventilating. Yeah. And during this time, I'm like getting down from my horse. Okay. And just you know, you know, rest my rest my hand on his shoulder. <laughs> just give him a back rub. So at this point, because he's on a pony, I'm, I'm pretty much at eye level with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. We all share this fear, but we're gonna share this victory too. That's what a community does. What if I... What if I can't help? What if I fail to use the powers that were given to me? I'm filled with so much doubt. I, you were so powerful. You were able to help everyone and I, yeah, I know you all talked to me and you, your words were very encouraging, but I, now in the midst of it, everything just, it feels like there's so much against me. It feels like the weight of the world just crushes me. I, I have to make it back alive. But I don't want to be a coward. I don't want to fear. I, I don't know what to do. I want to fight. I know I do. Then we fight together. Hey. And you don't have to carry all of this alone. I tried. What you perceived as strength from back then, I was but a walking corpse. I was so busy trying to carry the weight all on my own that I held myself back from using my own power. I <clears throat> suffocated myself. But take a look around you. Look at all of these people willing to fight alongside you. Even complete strangers. The ones giving compelling speeches and all. I could never do that. Even the tree spirits. Even they're willing to... Pardon this, but turn new leaf. <laughs> Do you... Really think... That I could make a difference... In this fight? Do you think I can amount to anything? I'm gonna just like point over, for, over to Brom. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Take a look at Brom. While not perfect, he is giving everything he can to protect you in his own way. I'm not all powerful. I mean, Take away my magic and I'd snap like a twig. <laughs> we all have a way of... We all have something special. We all have a way of giving back to others in a way that no one else can. Even you. You can protect Brom in a way no one else can. Really? I believe 
if you can do this. Okay. I'll try. No. Thank you. Listen, one last back tap. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you remind me a lot of him. Who? Oh. My son. Say we protect your home, shall we? I get on my horse. Yeah. Let's let's finish this. Can, let's, you, can you do mage armor, kid? I don't think so. Um, bark skin. Hold on. Hold on. Bark skin. Hold on. Bark skin. Yeah, he's got he's got something. I gotta yeah. pull up his sheet. Yeah. That whole time I'm sitting here going. Courage is being afraid and doing it anyway. Courage is being afraid and doing it anyway. (laughs) Yeah. Let's see. Nikoa. If Link didn't scream bloody fucking murder, he jumps off the cliff. That's what I'm saying. He has bark skin. Yeah. Good. And I'll just be like, hey. Bark skin. I can't do it yet. We still have a little bit of a travel to go. <laughs> just, just reminding you. Just reminding you. Thank you. I, uh, I don't think I'll need a reminder for that one. <laughs> but thank you. <clears throat> yep. All right. So, with that, with a rousing speech, <laughs> you all tending to your comrades, making sure everyone's good to go, you all head out. To the raised fortress. Brisingers, let's fuck shit up. Brisingers, sweep, sweep. All right. So. Oh, I've never ridden a horse before. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> You're just like, ah, I don't like that. <laughs> First time riding a horse? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where do I put my feet? <laughs> I'm over here being proficient in horses. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's animal handling. No, just horse, horse proficiency. <laughs> so. Has horse proficiency only. You guys. Only two horses. Following the Ironwood Watchers would travel deep into the Brookbond Forest. As you are traveling, Mirage, that vesiculum shard is vibrating even more. You're heading in the right direction. (laughs) The Ironwood Watchers gather at a canyon in the Brookbond Forest. You all descend a dusty slope to the bottom of this canyon. The area gets darker and darker as you continue down. The canyon seems to stretch out before you. It grows wide and long. It's even more intimidating at the bottom of the canyon. The canyon walls rise up. Their rocky cliff faces kind of taunt you, caging you into this area. And at the end of this dark canyon, you see it. A dark stone fortress and a mass of black limb demons. <laughs> Throws. <laughs> their bodies cover the brown dirt with their inky black bodies. It's almost like a carpet of just black shadow that stretches out in front of the fortress. Brom stops the Ironwood Watchers and waits. As you guys all approach the front lines, Brom seems to be like looking around. He's waiting for something. Where's the tree? Notice. Where's the tree? The forest. The spirit of the forest. 
is not there. Nope. It is a little past dawn. Where is the aid? Where is the help? Brom, now his composed, strong, willful stature begins to break. Before you are hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of black limb demons. The count is just above 300 for the Iron Watchers. This is a fight that Brom now knows they cannot win without help. And these demons are ready. They know that they were coming. Surprise is no longer an option. This is a head-to-head -head battle. Is there anything you guys would like to do? He is looking, you see that sweat begins to pour on Brom's face and he's trying to muster courage. I want to catch his eye if he looks in my direction at all. He seems to be like looking down a little round and then at some point he would look over and like he catches your eyes. We don't fucking need it. He looks at the rest of you. We're just that crazy. Maybe they're late. But regardless, we don't fucking need it. He looks over, spear biter to his right. For the island forest. We heard the bombs, right? Mm -hmm. For the nasal. For everyone. <sighs> you see him muster up courage again. You see that you composure got, come back up. You got this. Mm -hmm. You all ready to fuck up shot? He turns his horse around and he looks to you. I can't give a speech like you, my friend. But this is, this is for my own sanity. Hmm? My friends, look at you. He starts riding up and down the line. Despite the fear you felt, you march down here to stand side by side with your brothers and sisters in arms. You have already conquered so much. And now we fight to protect those we love. For decades, those demons have haunted us. They have taken so much from us. No more. Today, we take the fight to them. Today, we stand against the shadow of the abyss. We will drag each and every demon into the light of your lore. They shall bathe in the burning light of the sun god. And we will bask in the glory of our victory. So stand with me, warriors of the Ironwood, my brothers, my sisters. He turns towards the, uh, the demons, raises his oof, warhammer. We fight! And everyone at once cheers as he leads the charge to the Blackland demons. All of you follow suit. <laughs> Spear by her and Brom leading the dumb. charge, then you close behind, and the rest of the 300 Ironwood Watchers yeah. charge like, with their battle cry. Give me a bomb. At the opposite <laughs> end, you see Blackland Ghidorahs amassing their snake like <gasps> bodies arise from bomb. the horde of other Black Limb demons, and all of them you hear the, the cackling like vocal fry. <laughs> as they yeah. gaining speed. Dust is being kicked up in the canyon. You ride out and meet the demons head on in battle. Just before you clash. <laughs> you shouldn't be laughing, Orny. Make a wisdom saving throw. A volley of massive arrows. <sighs> oh. He's fucking here. He's fucking here. Tothnil's here. Roll the fucking die. He's here. He's here. He's here. Oh. Arrows. Fuck. Rain down yeah, from no. above. Yeah, it's bad. Ornan, as you look up. You're back on that bridge. Fuck. You are cold. The wind bites at your skin. The sun 
is blotted out by these arrows and you look up in horror and then you hear the bodies of your allies fall as arrows collide and pierce their bodies as you look up Ornan an arrow is coming straight for you and these are massive everyone roll a deck saving throw Ornan disadvantage yeah nice was that sarcasm Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. 17. Save. 11. Fail. Yep. 25. Save. You don't even need to ask. Understood. It's horrible. Okay, so those who fail take 10 piercing damage <sighs> as a massive so arrow nice. doesn't hit you with full force, but wherever it does hit you, does deal quite a bit of damage. Either it grazes your arm, uh, grazes past your shoulder or head somewhere. The force of the arrow alone deals so much damage. And when it collides with the ground, there's kind of like a forceful eruption of dirt and rock that just explodes. Is that a second to literally do anything? You see some of the arrows collide with the Iron Room Watchers. Not a lot of them go down. Most of them are able to avoid them, but a small portion of Iron Room Watchers die before they even meet battle as the massive arrows collide into them and their mounts. Can I have a second to do something, anything? That was the, there was this volley of arrows. It ends, you are still charging towards the demons. What are you doing? Macau, give me a fucking bomb. Give me a fucking bomb. <laughs> okay, so you have a bomb in your hand. Before you even light it, something else happens. Fuck! You guys are charging. The arrows rain down from above and it now litters the battlefield with these massive, almost javelin-like arrows that stick up from the ground. And you're charging. Brom still leading. And then you hear rumbling. The ground begins to shake. The wind forceful against your skin and hair. Your attention turns behind you. Running up behind you are massive ants. Animated yes. trees, humanoid in shape, <laughs> huge in size, and they are charging towards the black limb demons. The first ent kind of approaches um, the front line of the Ironwood Watchers. They are careful not to step over any of them. They are uh, very skillful in kind of dodging um, the horses and Ironwood Watchers. Um, Dara, you would see, Dara and Eve would actually, this thing would come up like between you guys or near you. You would see hanging from the top branch of this tree Aww. is the spirit of the forest itself. <laughs> he looks down upon you and in a calm kind of, not really uncaring, is but just like unfazed. Is it like fairly calm? Yes, kind of. It's just very unfazed. There's no emotion behind it. Inhuman. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> My apologies for being late. Knew it. And then with that, just kind of turns its head towards the demons and then runs even faster as the <laughs> end that it's on just... The <laughs> cow's just cackling, goes, I know it! <laughs> 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 I know it. That's why I thought it was so funny, because I'm like, yep, you're right. <laughs> um, okay, the forest, the power behind these trees, these humanoid trees, they charge into the Black Limb Demons before Brom even reaches them, before yep. any of the Ironwood Watchers, and they sweep through the Black Limb Demons. You see their bodies Ooh. just oh, ah, as they go flying up, hitting the canyon walls, hitting the ground with a splat. And then the rest of you <laughs> barrel through the black Lynn demons. And as you charge through, uh, Brom looks towards the Rift Seekers. Head towards the fortress. We will carve a path. Go! 
Don't go to the door, me, Doris! <laughs> 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 just running there, just boom, 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 punching yeah. bitches yeah. as I go. Yeah. So, the spirit of the forest and Brom both clear a path for Let's you go. to reach the raised fortress with ease. You hear the sound of battle, um, iron striking against flesh as the Ironwood Watchers start their battle with the demons. Easily enough, you guys are able to make it to the courtyard of the raised fortress with the help of the spirit of the forest. You guys see the gates before you. They're closed to the courtyard. And as you approach, uh, Brom like runs up, halts his horse, and then like looks, doesn't really know what to do. And in his brief moment of trying to think, you hear something else. Hey. <laughs> the doors explode as a stick of dynamite sticks to it and blows the doors wide open. One who is already climbed up on an ant um, and is like sitting down. Um, you see him as you like turn around and he just goes, I am the king of demons! <laughs> and just starts <laughs> chucking dynamite here and there willy nilly. Um, <laughs> it is I, the king! The, be. the saint of war has come to aid in this time of need! <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Guile goes off it's with his go. newfound end friend, um, starts fucking people up. Doors to the courtyard are blown wide open, oh and Brom God. just, what is today? And he turns around and then like dismounts his horse and then starts charging into the courtyard. Hell yeah. I follow him, follow Sook very okay. quickly. Rest of you guys follow him into the courtyard of the raised fortress. As you enter, there are large black like iron doors to the entrance of the race fortress. They begin to open as you approach. And Brom immediately loses his composure and looks defeated as the red dragonborn Ogron steps out, wielding his weapon clad in black armor. Hatred in his eyes. He looks only at Brom as he steps out. Brother, you had a chance to leave, but now you leave me no choice. I'm sorry. He I'd like to out. step in front of Brom. Like shove him out of the way. You can certainly try. As you try to like approach Brom, he just before you even step to him, he holds out his hand and just turns to you. This one's my fight, not yours. And as he like turns towards Brom and starts walking up to him, <laughs> blackling demons start to surround Ogaron. You count four. Roll for initiative, or I guess, yeah, roll for initiative. Yeah. Okay. We're getting somewhere with the dice. <sighs> Holy shit. It's roll good in my place. <laughs> okay. Nope. Well, I got to double digits at least. I rolled CX. I'm like right here. Yeah. It's gonna turn into a wrong system. Side, yes, you are. Yep. I see now. <laughs> I'm like right next to fucking Brom. I was really hoping to be able to cast a spell before we got in here. Fuck me. That's okay. Uh, not really. It's very unfortunate. Uh, Oh, bless. Ah. Just before this battle commences, um, you guys um, hearing the battle raging on, um, 
behind you. Um, Dara, you would be able to sense this out of everyone. You kind of feel a calm about you. You feel the strength of life energy at your feet as the spirit of the forest also engages in battle with you. What? Hey. Whoa! That's our friend. Yeah. The Whoa. Elder Musai, the spirit of the forest, yeah. aids the Rift Seekers in battle. Okay. Oh, I tried painting him. He's not done. Just orc. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, okay, well. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've been trying to find one that's more accurate to what Mikhail would look like, and there's just nothing. There's really nothing. And then when I try to make one, they they always make the uh, tieflings look very ugly. I'm going to. So, um, um, it is a bit expensive. I didn't realize the uh, how expensive the files for 3D printing can be. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna try to get custom, actual custom minis printed for everyone <laughs> so, at some point. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, telling you, we just kit bash a Macau. We could because literally the I've tried like making one in like Hero Forge or whatever, right. and all of the male tieflings are ugly as fuck. All of the way that you can, it's just like male tiefling, and then I can't change his face at all, and there's nothing. Really? I've tried to, and it like distorts it, and Ooh. it doesn't do it correctly. And then the how long ago was all, that? Because they it wasn't that long ago. okay, interesting. It's it's I just I can't get him to look right. Interesting. I'm trying to find the other ones. I mean, to do, but it is also a mini too. So after painting and everything, you really won't be able to see the face yeah. that much. Yeah, the horns are the thing that were fucking me up. Cause the that's only, fair. The only horn option that they had, they had two horn options. One was like the up, and then one was like out and up. You can adjust those though. Um, but they were like, and like oh, jagged and crooked and shit. And I was like, what Ew. is happening? And yeah. so, anyway. Okay, so rolls. Eighteen. Okay. Six. Sorry. Thirteen. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. This might be bad because the... Nope, okay, it's fine. I'm telling you, take the average. No, 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 no. I was, um... Never mind. Before, I was trying to load my encounters, and it just wouldn't load at all. Oh. But it is, it is now. It's still oh, good. Hooray. Yeah. Hooray! 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 Oh, that's right. I did have stats for him. I forgot. Okay. Do we have Ambrose in here? Yeah, can we have an ah, Ambrose, yes, please? Yes, 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 yes. I feel like we're gonna need some uh, Elder Shot. We need some blasting. Yeah, I agree. There we go. Ambrose is going to be by. That makes sense. Okay. We got a decent number of frontliners. This guy would not be that close to the Spirit of the Forest. Goddamn. He's up there. It's not worthy. Oh, is this gonna be a two on I'm gonna be one? so. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. He said don't. Let's Just fucking go. I will do what you suggested and take the average of everyone. I got like too excited and then I had to reel it in, but I was still very excited and now my tummy hurts. <laughs> okay, so, sorry, rolls again, because I need to calculate it. 18. 18. Six. Six. 10. 10. 13. 13. 13. Ambrose. Two. Ambrose! Come <laughs> on! Oh, yeah. That's my boy! No, my boy! <laughs> Macau, help! <laughs> okay. Let's see what I mean. He had one job and that was the What? Game. That was so cool. Okay, but it sucks for you guys because they're going first. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okie dokie. Yep. That's okay. So. It's okay. It's okay. I just know who they're going to go for. <laughs> I got two bitches. I was <gasps> so hopeful that I was gonna be able to cast a bless Fuck. before this. I don't need to be blessed. 
Huh? Don't I mean, would, but it's nice to have. I got that free nat 20, baby. It's nice to have. I, I don't. don't. Okay, okay. So it is, oh, I gotta pull up bra. I'm so weird about having things like that where it's like I have this one time super cool fucking thing I'm like I have to hold on to it forever. I can't ever use it. Me well, and Skyrim and that's... every other RPG. Um, yeah. I need well, to because I'm like, one if time I, use if items I, roll... I hate with a fashion. Yeah. If I roll 10 of them, I get another free one. So. Is it just a. Yep. Like, it just, it keeps I mean, it's going. better yeah. than a one time use item, but I still, I would never use it. All that. right. It's it is Ogeron's turn yeah, and no. he is going to uh, hit. Rom. He's going to. He's gonna. Oh, this could be... I, love you. I like these guys. I don't think that hits him because Brom has good armor. Yeah, gone. Yeah. Good. That's okay. Multi attack! Yippee! That hits. Oh. Okay, yeah. 21 will definitely hit. And he is going to oh. give this motherfucker a parry. Come on. Parry the blood of us. Well, I just need to see if Smite I have no idea what Bronze class is, so he may not be able to have a parry, but like, give him a parry. Give him a parry. Give him a parry. You should just get one because he's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Warhammer parry. It seems you can do it. Warhammer parry. Okay. Okay. So, um, that so is definitely gonna hit, and that is going that to do. I tried. Warhammer parry. Fifteen points of damage, Whoa. and now he must make a wisdom saving throw. Come on, Brom. Good roll. Good roll. Good roll. Good roll. It's very good. So good. You did such a good job, and Brom is okay. He's fine. That's Brom. Wait. Wait. What does this do? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, he didn't cast that though, so that doesn't uh, affect him. Okay. So that is a DC of. Oh, 14. He fails. So, Ogeron raises his. What is one? It is a sword. Raises his sword, strikes Braum, and as he cleaves through the air, there is like a black and red like energy that is left. And then it strikes Braum as well. Um, and then Braum kind of like drops his guard and just, <laughs> no, no, no. And is now considered frightened. No, buddy. Fuck, 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 okay. Um, so, frightened means, uh, I just think he has disadvantage, right? I have it right here. Disadvantage on ability checks while a source of fear is within my sight, can't willingly move closer. Okay, and it is concentration. But it doesn't have to run away. Okay, black limb demons. They know that this is no. his fight. No. Two are going to attack nope. you or a... No, they're not. <gasps> no. No. Um. I refuse. Ooh, you can see these two guys are uh, 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 like they turn towards each other and start communicating. And then poof, they look towards you, Rosh. No. Really now. Uh oh. You're just gonna walk right by me? Yeah. Cool. Both of them are charging and they like leave up with these like unnaturally long claws and only like one hand. No. no. Okay, so. They're not gonna hit. Ornan. Pussies. There's a quibble. Yes, they, they walked right past me. They did indeed. Warcaster. Very good. Let's fucking go. I am going to uh, hit the first one because I can only hit one with a total of dead. And a wisdom saving throw. Told him dead. Told that bitch. Warcaster. Pay the toll. Me to use cantrips. Right. Pay the toll, idiot. Didn't you use toll the dead on them last? Oh yeah, there's absolutely fuck all I can do. I thought That's it was. That's cool. Never mind. I'll fucking bonk him. Was it something? I else? thought it was something else that no, did necrotic. No, but it also does, does necrotic, also do which necrotic? is yeah. Why would toll the dead do necrotic? It doesn't make a lot of sense. It really doesn't. 
But yeah, no, you if are dead, correct. Dead. I will suffer and try and hit them with a stick. That's sure. You should change that. It That's, should be radiant. That should hit. On that 20? Yeah. That's so yeah. weird. Yeah. It's only Six. Bad. Six points? Yeah. Sure. I've like, I, uh, what the fuck? It's weird that it does necrotic nice. though, because if it's- Where are you hitting it? should do radiant. Um, There's no good fucking place to hit these guys. Go for one of the limbs first so they don't all pop off. Yeah, I'll hit a limb. Sure. Okay. Doesn't need to be specific to be anyone, I guess so. Because uh, I'm like, okay. I don't want them to all pop off. First black limb demon is going to make two attacks nope. against Ornan. No. Uh, you would definitely be correct on that. Does a 13 hit. No. Wonderful. Second one. No. Uh, 16. Meets beats. Six points of slashing damage. Fuck. Okay. Third one, Mirage. No. Does a 17 hit. Jesus. Yeah, that sure will. It sure does. So what I'm hearing is that Keith is gonna be really, really, really Sorry, six points of slashing damage. Six nice points, to us right. today. Oh, okay. Um. Another 12, as you, both of the I other ones from the other uh, demon hit. Oh, I got him swiped out okay, by the arrows. All right, that's an instant oh, that's 18 right. damage. Oh, boy. Sorry, how much again? Uh, Six and then Three attacks 12. hit you, each one with six damage, so 18. Okay, so 18 and 12. Yeah. Okay. Half my Run! health. Run! No. So, that was... Missy step. Their turn. You guys can go. Missy step, get the fuck out of there. I'm gonna... Which one hit me? <sighs> Just one of them. Okay. I'm gonna... Math. I'm gonna go for the one that hit me. Okay. Dos. Okay. What are you hitting it with? Turn? My battle axe. And my only... Fuck oh, me. Okay. And... Hmm, should I... I change that. Do the rage? I'm gonna I'm gonna pop a real quick rage. It was an intentional thing that you were planning on doing. I'm just gonna. It was not an intentional thing I meant to do. I changed several of them. Oh, okay. I thought that's what you were talking about. No, I didn't change that one. I misheard. Completely forgot about that one. So seven plus seven is a fourteen to hit. Hits. And then sixteen. Oh, actually, that was a plus eight. Actually, uh, sixteen plus eight to hit. <laughs> Ooh, wait, did you say fourteen? Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Amazing, and I now know it's AC. So I've got a. And just a just a real quick question: Does a twenty-four hit? Yeah. Okay. That's a D eight. I don't want that. Twelve points of damage. To where at? Uh, one of the limbs. One of the arms. Okay, comes clean off. Immediately awesome. destroyed. All right, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before anyone else goes, the spirit of the force is gonna go. Mm-hmm. It is gonna cast. Debuff these fuckers. Give them all disadvantage. Yeah, well, kind of. Um. Yeah. Bop, bop. I don't think I have enough water. I don't either. If you get water, two, you get me some. Three, four, five. Go get water. Uh, you are warm. Go get water. I know. Warm. It's hot. Fail. Yes. And I'm not drunk. Succeed. I don't want to get up. Fail. Get up. Fuck. Succeed. Sorry. Ogeron. Fails? Yes. Okay. Cool. Get fucked. <laughs> The spirit of the forest slams its like vine hands into the ground. And then you see like its body like lifts up and you see roots dig through the ground. Oh. And then it hey. pops up and like bioluminescent spores. 
So two of the Backlim demons yeah. get covered in these bioluminescent spores, and so does Ogeron. You guys now have advantage on those three, so. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, which you wanna, three? You want to give me a hand? Do it. No, oh, god damn it. You want to give me a hand with these fucks? I will. I was expecting a tank. You said vines in the ground. I was like, oh, a tank. That'd be cool. That's helpful. Oh, god. Bioluminescent spores of advantage. You Good covered shit. yourself and bioluminescent energy as, as a, a diversion. diversion. What? Okay, so that was their turn. So you guys can go. <laughs> Ambrose oh, is just going to mm-hmm. cast his Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Make sure that he has a long rest so we can take Eldabat. We love a good old fashioned warlock, Eldabat. One minute. That's the right call. I think I'm oh! going to see. You yeah, know, wish both them. Awesome. Goes to catch, cast Eldritch Blast and just does not hit the ones in front of Mirage. It is. <sighs> it's not going to be Brahm's turn as well. I'm going to need fucking help. I know. I'm just also worried about Mirage because low health. What are you at health wise right now? 35. You're at 35? Yeah. Uh, I have that, more health than you. Yeah, you have more health than me, and I have taken no damage. Wow. Okay. Um. Lost all those type of points, but. Do you feel comfortable? Oh yeah, Ambrose is here. I'm gonna fuck off. Ambrose is here. Excuse me. Hello, motherfucker. Punch motherfuckers with advantage. I would like to uh play a game of whack fuck. Sure. Whack fuck. <laughs> with this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have advantage on this motherfucker? Where is my... Oh, that's right. Damn! Okay, so that's 28. Oh my god. Is that a critty? Yeah, it's a critty. And with the modifier, that's a 28. It's a lady critty. To bonk. Okay, um... Lady critty... Oh, I can't remember. Swiss cheese. Um... (laughs) I want to, mm, how do I describe this? You okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I will be as vague as possible. I want to try to condense the fucker. With a natural 20, I will allow you uh, condensing them. If I can like grab one of his arms and then wrap my arm around his back and just shove it up into him. Sure. That's what I want to try to do. Later reference, if you want to try to condense or compress them, Mm -hmm. it is a grapple check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Followed by an attack check. Okay. So, So but with the natural 20, and I will allow this time because you didn't know. um, Yeah, you go and you, like, do you like hit him first or what? Or are you just gonna just squeeze? I'm just gonna. And literally grab his like wrist and then wrap around and just try to up into his body. Sure, yeah. You grab onto him, do just that, and begin to like squeeze. And as you do, you feel like it start to yeah, yeah, motherfucker, become one. And it does. You succeed, yeah. and you. Just, and he's now like That's a stick funny. with a with a weird bat head on. Okay. And he just. Oh, I, I, and it's just like confused, like what the fuck just happened to my body? Cool. Um, am I still able to do like a bonus attack thingy? Sure. Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then <laughs> it's just the head that's there, just a stick. It's in the a head. like it's literally a stick with like whatever foot or limb it had at the very bottom. Okay. And then it's he- and it's just like trying to stand yeah. up. It's like a pogo stick. I don't remember. Are these considered a threat still at this point? From what, from the conversation that we had with, I guess, conversation that we had with Guy. It was still like moving and thriving around. You would assume that this okay. thing could still. Like bite? Yeah. Or, okay. But cool. it's not as threatening now because it cannot disperse its body. Yeah. So you would assume at this point, if you deal enough damage, this thing dies. Cool. Then... It cannot do anything to like <laughs> pop its limbs off or anything. Can I use it? like a big club. <laughs> and can I try to hit this guy with that? Just, just go, you know, just just take me out of the ball game. 
take me out and send the head fucking flying all game from the other guy. Rule of cool. Sure. Yeah. Roll an attack. Uh, disadvantage though, because this is not a monk weapon. Would it just be normal then? Because that guy, I get advantage yep. on that dude. Okay. Would this just be an unarmed strike, or would this? What it's would you it's this? a improvised weapon, okay. so you're using your strength okay, so, yeah. to swing it. And it's I should be, have known. I should have taken the okay, It's a club, so it's going to be a one d four. Okay. No. Oh. Then I'll just, <laughs> just splat him against the yeah. fucking wall somewhere. Absolutely, he can definitely be thrown five feet. We'll we'll say that. So okay. Well, Attack of opportunity. So, <laughs> he's thrown away from this, so I don't think you would get it. Um. Because it's not willingly. And then I. It's can't. being shoved, so I'm going to say yeah. no. Oh. Because attack of opportunity is they turn around and like leave the threatened square. This guy's being shoved. There's a difference. The, I forgot that I get to attack twice per. I mean, I action. could make a very specific argument against that case. Okay. I'm a pain in the ass. There is a very particular Eldritch invocation designed to push enemies back to proc opportunity attacks oh, against true. them. That is a thing as well. That is exactly why it is in existence. It's that way if they get close to you, you shove them back. Or logs. <laughs> okay, sure then, I will allow it. Destroy. It's also like Thunder Wave. Oh, yeah. See, I thought Opportunity Attack had to be like willingly running away to get- mm -mm. 17. If, it, if you progress. move, you're fucked. I'm, I'm Googling the ruling here. I'm almost certain that it's if you move, you're fucked. That's another 12 points of damage. It, it's dead. Yeah. It doesn't have any body to like pop off, and even like you deal enough damage to its body, you see like the life from its oh, eyes it. expire, and then it dies. Uh, so, okay. Then with bonus action, because that would have been my second attack technically. Then True. I'll do my bonus action. The entire verbiage is moved out of your reach. Okay. Bada sure. bop, boom, pow. Uh, Want to do that um, again? Bonus action. I would like to, because I can't do a grapple action on this guy. There's no way. Um, I would like to um, flurry of blows ba, 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 ba. and get. Ba, 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 I would like to hopefully gaba his ghoul. And I have. His <laughs> Can I? Gotta be a 15. Yeah, it's 17 for the first one. Definitely hits. Okay, and the second one, I have advantage. That hits. Hits regardless. Okay, and then, yeah, it's got 18. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that was one. Eh. Eh. Six. Six. <laughs> Eleven. Sir, what are you hitting? This guy, I want to get him in the... Eleven will destroy a limb. Uh, I'll get him in the... Are their heads just by themselves a problem? No, Not they're still attached they yeah. though, so I'll just, I'll debunk him in the head. Yeah, you knock his head clean off with one attack and then you attack another one and do six points of damage, we'll say that, yeah? Sure. Okay, cool. All right, um... That's it. I know what I'll do. <laughs> Did Ambrose already go? Was that last turn? Uh, already went. Already went, yeah. Already went. It's, it's still our turn. It's just Braum. Yeah. And myself. Yeah, Braum, it's for my people. Oh, Sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. Uh, uh, bonus action Shillelagh, and I will smack whichever limb I injured last time, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Hoping it's still injured. <laughs> mm-hmm. I haven't had a chance to know this. <laughs> sure. Why not? Critical. <laughs> I will catch it. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, 15. Okay. Yeah. You blow that limb that you were hitting clean off. It's like it's left arm. Just cool. 
And yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Because that was my bonus action and my full action. Mirage. Alrighty. Um. So. I guess, uh, I mean, at this range, this point blank range, I will, uh. I think I'll do Shocking Grasp at whichever one whose limbs Dara just attacked. Just, uh... Okay, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, just to get those numbers down. Mm hmm. Liz! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> That's a nine. <laughs> no! 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 It does not hit. Unfortunately, I rest my case. Pass. You try to so, shock and grasp it, and just your power's not coming to you. Fuck! And you just can't get it going. And this thing like looks at you, and you can see it's like mocking you, and he's just like, oh, 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 oh. and it starts like opening and closing its paws, and right, it goes yeah. to like. <laughs> Lift up as it's like ready its attack, and then something happens. Uh, something good for us. It gets a phone call. <laughs> it gets a phone call. Hello? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle away. of a battle right now, but what's up? Yeah, what's up? You know, I'm just, I'm just, me I'm just absolutely wrecking this scrub. What's it, up? It's in the hospital. Oh my god, what? Is he okay? <laughs> oh my god, he's not gonna <laughs> yes. shit. Torn to shreds, you say? So. This thing is like, oh, 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 oh. and then all of a sudden, another rumble oh, yeah. right below your feet. This thing goes as it looks down, <laughs> and like a fucking eruption of the ground, it just the ground breaks into chunks, and then just dirt and soil just oh. explode oh. up, and this thing's head and arms just. Like a Lego piece, go clean off, and the rest of it just <laughs> and falls down. You, this wasn't you. Sure it was. It was now. And you turn around. <laughs> Tiny little. <gasps> Nicole! 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 I don't have a Nakoa mini, but Nicole! this will do. Standing Fuck at the Nicole. destroyed gates yeah. is the little gnome druid who mustered courage. Yeah. And blew this fucker away. Yeah. Yeah. Nicola enters the fight. Let's go, Nicola. Nicola. Come on, we got the squad. We got the squad. This time. I do challenge my papers. Huh? Nothing. Huh? Did he, Don't did worry he, about it. Did he cast work skin on himself? Uh, you turn around and yeah, you can see that his skin looks oh, like the ironwood tree. It looks like it's made of like yeah, yeah. steel wood. Cool. We're even now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah. God, Nakoa! Nakoa sweep! <laughs> Nakoa sweep! <laughs> On the three fucking shivers! Sweep! All right. Exhale and smile toward him. He looks frightened, but as he like looks up to you, he <laughs> tries to like smile back and tries to look brave. <laughs> Like I was beating the shit out. I was like, let's fucking go, go, go on. He's just beating the fuck out. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Brom's turn. He is going Come to on, try Brom. to fight Ogron, but it, what, it, what you Come guys on, are Brom. seeing is two dragonborns just clashing at full strength, but um, Ogron is pushing like Brom back as Brom looks to be frightened. But he tries to muster his courage and swings his. Warhammer with ferocity at Oberon. He's going to try to land two attacks. Oh no. What is that? Oh, Brom, my sweet baby boy. Nothing collides. Oh, Oberon damn seems to be winning this, this skirmish against his. Friend, once how, friend. How upset would he be if I got involved? It is this, now the enemy's turn. Even with advantage? You're right, he doesn't. Uh, it's normal because he's fighting. Oh, because he's fighting, he would have disadvantage, so it's just a normal attack. But didn't you roll with disadvantage then? 
No, because Rob... Frightened creature has a di disadvantage on ability checks mm -hmm. and attack rolls. Right. While the source of its fear okay. is within the site. And you just roll normally. So I just roll normally. Oh, okay. Does... made two attacks. Okay, does he get to make a save against the frightened condition? Uh, or... Let me... He should, yeah. I hope uh, That should hope be the so. end of his turn, typically. But it's not always, but sometimes. It's possible. Wrong I just want to check. Resolve. Because I really, I really want him to just pull through. Yeah, it'd be <laughs> cinematic. I love him. It would be and, very cinematic. And thematic, and like... It would be so great. Fuck you, Ogeron. Show, Ogeron. It's Ogeron. showing Nicole that Ogeron. he can be scared too, but he can As an come action, yeah. the creature can make a wisdom check mm. against your spell safe DC to seal its resolve in any spell. That's What weird. spell is this? It's a whole ass action. Damn. Uh, smite. Uh, oh. Okay. Never mind, yeah, that makes sense. It's smite. Smites are bullshit and I love them. Smites rough. So, Braum seems to be losing this battle against Oberon, but he is oh, help him. not faltering help yet. Them. Okay, so, enemy's if turn. You there is fuck, I I can two Blackland demons Oberon. and Ogeron left. Um, Blackland demon that's fighting Macau. Nope. Seems to be uh, losing there. He's kind of <laughs> scared. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> he sees that Ambrose is running up the right side and says, see ya. Opportunity attack yep, for both, both of us. <laughs> ba, 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 so that thing is stupid. That thing is 14 so plus eight. Yeah. Fucking fricked. Oh. Question. Yes. So you already took your reaction. Oh, true. You already did your. What's up? Yep. You your did your reaction this round. Attack. You already did it. Yeah. Uh. So I know you that used an opportunity attack is it's like melee else. weapon or what have you. Huh? You already used Would your opportunity Would I be doing that as an unarmed strike or would I be doing that with my mecha gloves? My bad. If those, if that's all I got, and I'm just your mecha gloves count as unarmed strikes. They empower your unarmed strikes. Okay. Mecha gauntlets are a little strange as they are like weapons. Yeah. But, but since they're... you're a monk, they yeah. they they operate as part of me yeah they're more they are unarmed strikes is what okay they are. they are still considered like a weapon but they empower yeah. unarmed strikes you as a monk your unarmed strikes get more powerful so. okay so i just want to make be... sure because moving forward i don't i just want to make moving sure moving forward doing... you would use your unarmed strike damage if it's raised above the mecha gauntlets okay yeah period my bad i forgot i used my that's fine i remember yeah. Ooh. That's a 13 plus 8. Yeah. Damn. Plus 8's in the his house. Uh, 8 points of damage. Okay, that's enough to destroy <laughs> another limb. I kick his fucking leg off. <laughs> I was able to reject At the it. hip. I just... It's, it's right. <laughs> you don't destroy it because it regenerates. Shit. Okay. Okay, Kick so him in the fucking leg, fuck you, Runs bitch. all the way over to Ambrose, charges it, leaps, and slashes at him. It's an incredible distance to go. I'm about to no. fuck you up. I'm about to fuck no. you up. No, no, no. I don't know what is it with 11s today. That definitely hits. Ambrose loses hey, 6 stop. HP. Stop. Okay. Slashes at him. Uh, okay, Ogeron's turn. He is... No. No. We could have left together, brother. But you had to be difficult as always. I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna fuck him up. Fuck him up. Multi attack. Oh. Miss. 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 Okay, Brom takes another. Okay, goodbye, D and D Beyond. Thank no you. more. You don't need it. No. Nope. It likes to nuke itself. You'll sometimes. miss everything. And we will hit all of our attacks. He and takes. We'll win this fight very easily. Because we are the Rick Seekers and we go hard. And we sweep. Rom takes another 11 points. Amazing. Of slashing damage. Disgusting. <sighs> Rom is faltering now. He is losing this fight. Don't worry, Rom. I got you. Okay. Miss Seekers, your turn. Uh, first off, supporting you guys will be the Spirit of the Forest. Yippee! Um, Yay. Love you. Thanks. Thanks, bestie. Good, 
Smooches. Love you. Being by you, Mirage, um, the spirit of the forest, um, you see it like bow its head and the horns that kind of extend around its mass begin to glow and vines wrap around it and a flower blooms and like its petals fall and blow past your face and as you do, you get this sweet aroma that you breathe in. You feel revitalized and it casts cure yeah. wounds on you. Oh, <laughs> oh, good Thanks, man. Pookie. Thanks, Pookie Bear. At third level. Thank you. Ugh. At third level? Pookatron. Shit, I only need six to get here. Pooka deer. Pooka deer. Oh. Pooka deer. I mean, because I had temporary hit points. Oh. I got some from stretching okay. and right. then from uh, the speech. Cash it out a little. Understood. You only needed six hit points? Yeah. Okay, first level, you regain all of them because cool. it rolled an eight plus more. Oh. Eight plus spell cast. Sweet, 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 sweet. That was the Spirit of the Forest. Uh, Nicole will yeah. stand back, frightened. Actually, he'll make a wisdom saving throw to see if he stows himself. Uh, he is frightened. All right. <laughs> God damn it. Um, and then and to, to get out of the way, Ogron right? will go. Or not Ogron. Um, Brom is going to try to steal himself. Please, buddy. He does. As he takes a stride from Ogron, he kind of like shakes his head and blocks Oberon's next attack and just holds him there. Yeah, bitch. He raises his head and meets Oberon's gaze. How dare you? Yeah. Against your friends? Yeah. Your brothers? Sisters? He pushes him back and just... Yeah! Yeah! Grab his deck and twist it. <laughs> <laughs> The old dick twist! <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. He's taking a hit against Oberon. Cool. It's a natural 20! <laughs> God damn it. Get fucking fricked. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, that is the NPC's <laughs> turns. Uh, Help your bro. Ambrose is going to try to do something with that something you've done on him. you get. Welcome back. Grab his dick and twist it. Ambrose is going to slash at this thing at a da- with a dagger because he's going to move out of range. <laughs> Fails. Okay, everyone else's turn. Yay! All right. Right. Ambrose, we're so proud of you. Hey, hey Ogron! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, he's going to be pushed uh, up that much. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Bada bop, boom, pow, and it's with advantage, <laughs> correct? It oh is, yes. Oh my god. Welcome back, boys. Oh my god. That's my choice. Oh my god. Natural 20. Oh my god. For I, one of them. I have not heard grab his dick and twist it in a long time. <laughs> Every fucking day in my house. That really, really <laughs> just, I don't suppose that a 14 hit. <laughs> no. Yeah. The so natural 20 does. 14 does not. Yeah, yeah, Ethan's like that. pulling an Elden Ring yeah. or like Gears 5 or yeah. some shit. I'm just gonna go grab his dick and <laughs> twist it and see what happens. Ethan, pro tip. Ethan, pro tip, grab his dick and twist it. <laughs> <laughs> My source, trust me, bro. Take hold of Wang, give it the old spinneroo. Balls see in, what happens. Balls in your court. This your court. Hey. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's your court. Balls. Ball. <laughs> twist. <laughs> 3d10. Yeah, open the door. Open the door. <laughs> Savage attack. Yep. Open the door and or, bring forth death. Yeah. <laughs> bring forth okay. pain. Savage twist. Let's go. Savage. <laughs> Savage dick twist. Yeah. 
Hold. That's pretty good. Uh -oh. Savage dick told. Yeah. Math. <laughs> oh my god. 21 points of damage. Yeah. Nice. And I just, as I bring down my fucking metal axe, just, you fucking dreader! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck him up. Yeah. So after being like locked their weapons together and uh, Brom like pushes him away, he like takes a step back and he like readies and flourishes his weapon before he goes to strike. You just rush in battle axe and cleave into him and he just <clears throat> and then you yell in his face and he just looks over to you and you see one of his eyes <gasps> go black oh yeah he's fucked up and he just like I looks at you I mean, this is our fight now buddy I will kill you <gasps> let's go okay as one of his legendary actions. Huh? As you hit him, what he gon' hit possessed. back. He's possessed, bro. That means fucking pull. Try me. Bro, this is fight one of many. We can probably take a rest in here. 21. Fuck you. Half um, it. Okay. Rage. Five points of slashing damage then. Thank you. She's <laughs> As you Bro, what's have his, have you, as you have your oh blade God. buried like into his like armor, um, he takes his sword and just raises it and then just slashes right against your chest and kicks you back. Um, okay, that is that is his legendary action. That was your turn. What is everyone else doing? So I'm, like I'm gonna move while you're doing it. a legendary it. boss and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Now it's me and Brom. Avoiding a tag of a <laughs> Flashed it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with like anime, fl anime fights when they do like flash them. I, like I honestly happens. think it's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I can get there. Get his ass. I fucking, what's, what's his name? Black Oh, to uh, I don't know, Toto. Toto. Toto, I just fucking to Toto <laughs> Alley. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Total ow. <laughs> ha, ha. Okay, what are you doing? So many spells. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the Pow! <laughs> <laughs> like, run over there. And Rose is like, oh shit. I'm like, I got it! <laughs> I got it! I got you, buddy! Fifteen plus eight. Yeah, easy. Money. 15 plus 8. Easy. Money. What did you. 8. 9. Bonus 16. attack. 16. It's... 8. 25. Two limbs gone. Thank you for that sound effect. That was well, well needed. Thank you. Uh, two limbs gone? Yeah. For flavor, can I rip one off with my tail? Absolutely. <laughs> cool. You and really have a tail. The limbs, you rip it off. <laughs> for, obviously it won't do anything, but I just want to like, fuck you, Ogre! <laughs> <laughs> and just like chuck it. And then just, <laughs> just fuck you, <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Make an attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> No way. Unnatural 20? Yeah, unnatural 20. You taste one point of blood. I literally just. <laughs> also. Yeah, so Orin, what you see is just like he looks at you and goes, like, I'm gonna kill you. And then just. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, he just turns and sees, and then the cow's just. <laughs> He's like trying to claw me, and I just. <laughs> 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 I'm keeping him back, I'm like, oh, fuck oh, you. Oh, oh. The, like the, the little. I, 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 I,
No, but then just a slow zoom on me and Jamie as I fall out of my chair and the head just hits. Oh, good stuff. Hell and then yeah. so, welcome back, dear adventurers. Welcome back. Welcome okay, back, so that was Mikhail's turn. And Lana's uh, turn. Dara, Eve. Uh, oh, no, man. I want to save my shit, but I also want to fuck this man up into the yeah. fucking heavens. Yeah. Fuck him into the heavens? Yes. Oh. That's how I want to go. <laughs> uh, we should be able to save him. <laughs> Quote yeah, it. At this range, as well as wanting to Quote save spells for all the time. Spells blocks. I'm, I'm pretty interested in the shocking grasp. That's how Just, I want to go. Yeah, hit this bitch. Yeah. All right. Um, Question. Before you do this. You said it's a grapple check and then an attack roll. Yes. Are you still dealing damage with that or no? No. That's disgusting. Well, it reduces the amount of damage that you have to Essentially do. Essentially what you're doing, oh, yeah, you, are, you are seeing if you can successfully grapple it, and then you're seeing if you can successfully squeeze. There's just a lot. And I have horrible dice lock, so I will not be doing that. Carry on. <laughs> oh, okay. Stay still. Roll for shocking. I think fuck twenty five. Nice to hit. Dope. Yeah. Ball. What a surprise! One. What yeah, a surprise. It's a shock. Two. I'm yeah, sure. Hey. <laughs> oh shit! I got a cough. You can't. You can't. Yeah. You cannot. <laughs> you can't. I'm going for limbs. Limbs, by the got way. It. Go for it. You got it. Mention. That is the most. <laughs> Stiff cough I have ever heard. Destroy. Hey, nice. Fuck That's yeah. 12 shocky damage. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. This thing, one of its limbs just <laughs> like I, 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 stops moving and then just crumbles into the <laughs> right. Really? Yeah, just like an electric little karate chop. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Easy. I figured yeah. I'm just doing like melee attacks with electric stuff. Yeah. Sure. Bitch. Yeah. Oh, just, fuck yeah. it up. Yeah. That's what it is. Absolutely. So, yeah. Fuck it up. Hell yeah. Okay. So yeah, mother is mothering. Anything? Yes, I will. Okay. Mother. Uh, I'm gonna hit the same motherfucker. Pray to the gods that I'm actually. That's enough. Well, that's that. God damn it. I'm gonna quote unquote waste it. Second level spell slot. Spiritual weapon. Sure. Fuck yeah. It'll stick around for a while. So. A minute. That's not gonna get us into the next fight, but. I knew I had no reason to fear, and yet, I fear I did. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. It's, it's your aura. Okay. <laughs> the fucking aura. That you and we have advantage to hit this thing. Duh. Oh, you're wrong? Wow. Do us. Wow. Do us. Jesus. Oh, fuck. There he went. Bitch. Dubin! Come on, Dubin. Dubin. Just lie. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine lie. Hey. Oh, so what's his AC? That's what makes Still. us human. I hit it. I wish I would could tell you, but you would actually murder me if you knew. Oh For yeah, what? it's probably higher than mine. It's, it's like or on par. It's definitely like 19 or 20 or some shit like that. Yeah, so in total. Well, it's I a guess 16 to, roll to hit. A 12. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Can't handle the stress anymore. I'm not gonna be able to hit this fucker at all, am I? The pressure's crazy. Maybe. Yeah, so that's a no. <laughs> Emily's turn. Okay. I think that's up to me and the cow. I forgot that guy was alive. Oh, was like, oh, that's fine. Okay. Moving um, on. Ogron. Come at me, baby boy. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna make yeah. an attack against Ornan and Brom. No. He's gonna miss both. Something tells me. <laughs> the odds of that happening. That's crazy. He missed both. Ah! Yeah. He missed both. Does a 19 both. miss? Certainly doesn't matter. Okay, then you and Brom both are gonna take 11 points of slash. Did you half it? Uh, 11 holes or five slashing for you. Oh, we're getting real close into devouring right rage. Now. He is losing this fight against Ogron. Uh Okay. First we're Blackland Demon is going wear. to try to hit Ambrosius. He's going to try again. Uh, I'm 11 hit points away from 
being at half. Oh Jesus, already? Yep. And we're one fight in. Only one we'll of them hits Ambrose. If we don't get to rest, I will rage again. Trust me, I wouldn't say that there are a lot of fights in this if I didn't have something you planned you know, for we'll you guys be to be able to reach the end. We'll be on the I'm not just saying, yeah. go in here and die. Have fun. <laughs> Tomb of um, Annihilation, meat grinder style. Yep. Okay, the other Black Lund Demon's gonna attack Mirage. First I hit. have that. Will definitely Run hit. It. Second one does not hit. Uh, six Run points it. of slashing damage, Mirage. Oh, okay. I, I'll, I'll play. Okay, whatever limbs were uh, hurt are regained on the Black Lund Demons. It is now everyone else's turn. Uh, starting off, double checking. If we destroy the limb, it's gone. Mm-hmm. If we just have hurt one, it re- regenerates gens itself. Ooh. Okay, so this guy's still missing some shit, so we're good there. Yeah, because I can probably fuck him up this turn if not. Yeah, the next if Ambrose helps out, we can get him on this one. Do I reckless on the attack? chance that I hit, he typically can regen everything I can do in a turn. Since I only get one attack. Okay. <laughs> Spirit of the Forest raises its vine like hand and then it morphs it into a singular roping vine and it just What's shoots that? out towards the Black Limb Demon towards Macau and Ambrose. Oh. So then attack. <gasps> it hits. And that is going to do damage. Seven points of damage. Spots. Opportunity attack for both of you as it's yoinked towards him. Oh. So, go ahead. Hello. Ambrose have... hits! Oh. Hey! He doesn't have a work cash to feed, does he? No. Damn. Ah, damn it. That's a, a fucking shame. bummer. Well, Four points of damage, plus a seven, so... 11. This thing only has its body or head left. Yeah, it's damn near dead. Yeah, most of its limbs are gone. <laughs> oh no. My cow. I'm kidding. You go to hit as this thing has a vine yeah. wrapped around it. It's pulled away, and as you see your opportunity, you smile as you yeah. go to strike it. And as you do, those gauntlets fail. <laughs> Like concrete bricks, you are dragged yeah. to the ground by the weight of these things. And it's how long again until I get it back? I believe it's the next round. Okay, so mm-hmm. I just <laughs> pull, yep. pull my yep. little yep. fingies out real it quick. It just kind of like, it dies on you, and then as you're like, fuck shit, they go back. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, so this thing is on its, literally its last legs. It has <laughs> its... Head and torso left, that is it. That is, oh, is Nokoa going to fight? Please. please. Nope! Nokoa, please! Don't fail. Three like... round, man. And it is now Brom's turn, who is going to try to strike back. Yes, Nokoa. Why? He goes to strike Ogron with the Warhammer, and as he brings the Warhammer like down on him, Ogaron just with his hand just like right, stops so it. Wrong. With advantage? Looks that de- You're correct, he does have advantage. There we go. Please. Mm, yes, let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this guy. One of them definitely hits, the other one does not, but well, it's good it. enough because Smite. Smite is, is a Simply, Delicious. I would also like to do another counter of how many times Jamie and I do something at the exact same time. So no, I'm not keeping many. track anymore. I already many. gave up on Grandma. That's too, oh, shit. Second I level smite is 3d8 three, three, so. plus his warhammer. What? Oh. Yeah. I was like, huh? 4d8. Okay. Yeah, smite. I yeah, thought smart. it I Four, thought it wasn't Braum doing it. Five? Six? Seven? Uh, plus eight, okay. Uh, 14 plus two, 16. That was hard math. Um, 16 points of damage. One. That's two. 
On he rolled 16. Ten I'm not going to that. Yeah, he rolled two ones. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'm also using beef dice, so that might be cursed. Uh, Stop using beef dice. I, listen, it's colorful, beautiful beef dice, okay? No. I want to use beef dice. Beef. No. <laughs> Tomorrow. Okay. What is beef dice? Okay. Anyways. Tomorrow. I hit. Tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. Hey! So this is 15 and 11. 15, 11. And an 18 and a 14. Plus 8 on both of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Bitch, yeah. Oof. So close Ow. to having another critical. Am I still still able to attack just not with the gauntlets? Hmm? Am I still able to attack just not with the gauntlets? I can use like my lady. Are are they back already? Yes. Oh, okay. Let me check. Because if it's a reaction on that turn, would it be for my whole turn, the next one? I gotta make, I gotta let me know. Because if so, that's fine. Makes sense. I just don't want to. Weapon for you, Keith. If I'm doing two attacks, does End my, of next turn, so no, sorry. Okay. Does my rage damage bonus go to both hits or just one? Both. I think both. Mm-hmm. 20 points of damage. Eat shit, or get wrong. Oh, shit. Okay, oh, so. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I'm pissed. Oh, shit. You I'm, and Braum both I'm together to sure Braum doesn't are... Die. <laughs> and Ogeron is keeping up. Like, cool. for the first part, he is bing, 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 blocking everything. This is straight out of an anime fight that I'm playing in my head right now, where both yeah. guys are just furiously striking at him, and he's keeping up. Like, um, he is a tactical, tac- tactical fighter, um, and using everything to survive this, trying to um, use your weaknesses against well, you so that, that the fight silly. is in his advantage. Um, but... You guys keep coming at him. Brahm is yelling and roaring at him. And you are just continuously striking. And finally, you're able to break his defenses. Brahm strikes him and then you go in and cleave him as well. And now it's just And he takes a step back and just He looks up to you, his other eye turns black and just I've had enough of this! And he is going to take his legendary action. Oh shit. And he's going to strike. Try me, bitch. You he's back. And Brom. Try me. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Try. Oh, did he step back? Did he like no, actually? It's just no. that he was Flavor. he was he backwards. So, so I was trying to fix him and then Brom came with and yeah, now I'm He scared. takes a step back, flourishes his weapon again, leaps up, strikes at you, and misses. And he sees Brom coming at him with the Warhammer, and he turns around and, like, um, holding his blade backwards, just swipes at Brom. Um, was it a. Swipes at Brom and, like, slashes at his, like, knees and brings Brom down. And he, like, stands up and just boosh, punches him. And he gets back up, and he's ready for more. Ogron looks damn near dead. And demonic at this point, as both of his eyes are just black. Is there anything else like weird and black? Mm-mm. <laughs> he seems to be maintaining his form, but Ornan, you can clearly see that there is something demonic about him. Something oh, either man, possesses man. him, or he underwent some sort of slight I'm gonna beat transformation. I'm going to out of him. <laughs> that I'm going to become the world's greatest cleric. Is making him the way that he is. Yeah, something's up with homeboy. Okay, that I just take is... a leveling cleric and I just start yeah. beating like Walter. Okay, Walter so both Ogeron and Brom look like they're on the brink of death right now. They are not doing good. So. Ogeron and Brom? Mm-hmm. Also, I only care about one of them dying and that's okay. Brom. So that's Brom and Ornan's turn. Still 11 hit points away from entering the power and range. Is Nikoa gonna fight? Please, Nikoa. Please! All right. Nikoa yes. overcomes his yes, fear. Yes, buddy. He runs into the battlefield right behind you, Mirage. And 
and he is going to try to make an attack against the uh, the demon. Yeah. Let's fucking go, bud. Get him. Spirit fingers. Boy. You got this, homie. I believe in you, Nicola. You got this. You got this, bro. Get the boy. He casts Shillelagh on his quarterstaff, hmm. and you see the very tip of like his staff uh, become like ironwood, <laughs> and uh, he's like a like a club just poof, and goes straight for the thing's kneecap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. kneecap this motherfucker. Let's fucking go. <laughs> he goes to swing at the kneecap of the black Ooh. lone demon, and as he does. Shillelagh seems to go away and he no. like loses his grip as he swings and it just <laughs> the staff starts flying away Shit. from his hand. And That's okay. Grip. You don't need it. <laughs> you don't need it. You got like, this. Takes a step back and the black limb demon like cranes its neck around you, Mirage, and just looks at Nicole with this like wild, vile face, this like distorted smile and these like uh, narrow eyes that grow big to like intimidate Nakoa. Don't forget to use your spiritual weapon. Corbin. Yeah. Is the guy that I've been bonking, does he have a head? Don't uh, head, forget yes. to use your okay, spiritual cool. weapon. Oh, Could yeah. I, I want to go after him. Can I use the dead weight of the gloves? Can I throw them down with my hand still in them and use that to propel my leg to fucking his head off. Sure. I want to yeah. use the dead weight to yeah. like swing super. You know how people like they Maybe. do that thing where they have the super heavy ball and they spin around and like they use the weight to spin and then chuck Make it. Make an acrobatics check. That's what I want to do. <laughs> but with my leg. Sure. <laughs> okay. Every time. I thought we just start repelling the leg like before. Just figure it out. And unleash like a demon. Uh, unleash like uh, 15. <laughs> Hits. Slay for acrobatics. Fascinating. Oh, sorry. That was acrobatics. Okay, wonderful. Uh, that definitely works. You succeed. This would technically be unarmed, I suppose, because I don't have any. Well, my leg. <laughs> my leg. My leg. It's unarmed, but it's metal, so it goes ouch. <laughs> okay, understood. Hey, a metal ouch. Oh, it sure does. That's a twenty, baby. That goes, uh. that goes very ow. That's a twenty-seven. Okay. You can add an extra two hit points because you succeeded in the acrobatics check to use the dead weight. So propelled forward. Max damage. 18 points Whoa. of damage. Whew. You cleave this thing's head off. You don't kick it off. You hit like the bottom part of this thing's jaw and then that is just deleted from existence. It's golden compass rest, type shit. Fuck. The rest of its head just kind of like stays there cartoonishly for a moment before it <laughs> and then it falls to the ground and splat. Dead. Golden compass level shit. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's a good movie. You'd like it. Ah. There's a there's a scene, what I'm talking about is there's two polar bears that are fighting each other and one of them like goes to walk away because he's like, I'm done with this fight. And the other one's like, fuck you, bitch. And he turns around and just and the, his whole lower jaw just goes flying. <laughs> and there's just blood. I was like, whoa! I was a child. I was like, yeah! <laughs> like, let's go! That's cool. um, and okay. then with second attack. Get him. Please. Baby boy's not done. Um, I would like to try so hard. I know I can't actually use the the normal micro glove stuff, but can I just and just use the weight and Should without walk. the bonus of it. Yes, yes. I just want to try to, I'm trying to, mm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get this fucker's head to cave into his torso. Sure, yeah. Is what I'm trying to do. 17. Hits. Cave that man's head. Nine points of dabblage. Not enough to do it. Then, However, you could have the help of one bows? such bros. Embos? Ooh! It's money. head. Like, <clears throat> like kind of caves in, and then it like looks up to you, and it's like black tongue is like stuck out of its <laughs> now like caved in jaw. And it's just And as it like looks towards you, <laughs> Two forceful eldritch blasts just 
Oh yeah. Its body just disappears before it, you know, looks back up before boom, head is deleted yeah. by the next force of the Eldritch yeah. Blast. All right. So that is it for the Black One Demons, the last one that stands. So this is, is one that's gone? Yeah. The former Ironwood Watcher now turned into a Black Limb Demon hybrid of some sort. A soldier. Warrior. So, Not me. With those that remain, what would you like to do to assist Brom Aram, captain of the Ironwood Watchers? I'll use my bonus action to smash. And me? <laughs> I'm there too. You already, already went. I know. <laughs> to Where support us and Brom. Huh? Oh, oh. Critical. <gasps> yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Let's fucking go. It's not bad. Uh, oh, shit. Where'd the spell go? I have lost my spell. <laughs> Consumed by the void. Consume spell. Okay, uh, honestly not that great, but I'll take it. That's 13 forts. Forts? Do I remember? Okay, yeah. so. 13 force damage. Braum and Ornan smacking the shit out of this guy with their weapons. And he is so focused on them that he doesn't even realize. He turns the last second and sees what is the, what is the weapon? That he- uh, I, same one as always. It is a, hold on. <laughs> I have it saved for this exact reason because I don't remember. Where can I help you? <laughs> You've been blessed. I have blessed you. A oh. weapon, a uh, oh. sword made of vines entwined around a branch forming the hilt, and thick, sharp leaves form the blade. The guard is covered in flowers, and the hilt is carved with the symbol of a hawk yeah. and a snake in Hilton's style. So, no dick twisting for you, bitch! His face turns as he just sees this magical weapon just shush, slash up him. And you just see blood just splurt out of his body. And as it falls, he like looks back up and both Brom and Ornan stop for a moment as like the blood just drips from his body. He's like leaning over. Don't his, tell me there's a face too. His hands and arms are just kind of like leaning down. There's a face too. And the blood stops. Yep. Yeah. Dripping. Yeah. He stands up and just. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> His yep. eyes now blacken, yep. white slits form. I will not <laughs> fall to you. Well, he'll fall to me though. He's on the verge of death. Slay. Time to get a fucking up here, dude. All right. All right. Use my Give action. Give the old dick twist! No, I've got a better idea. Okay. Magic missile? Magic yeah, dick no, twist. Yeah. Do magic I dick still twist. have my action. What oh, do shit. I do oh, magic yeah. dick twist? You and Mirage can both go. It is technically the same turn. Hit him with that magic missile. Yeah, because I was going to hit him with a first level guiding bolt. Sure. Mirage, do you want to do magic missile as well? What if they like oh, merge together else. and they just Ooh, magic missile. guiding missile? A god, <laughs> like the it's in the middle and then the magic missiles are swirling around it. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. Yep, just a golden light, three magic missiles, like corkscrewing around. That'd be sick as shit. That's fucking anime. Do it. Yeah, that's very anime. Do it, and it automatically hits. Yeah. We're a bunch of fucking nerds. Come on. And Crazy. I have advantage. I have blessed dice. Who would have thought? D&D, D&D Beyond. Beyond. Yeah, this, this is not sponsored. Not sponsored. God, not I sponsored. fucking hope this hits. 19. Please. It's a guiding bowl. Doesn't hit. No. Fuck! Did you use advantage? Yeah, that was with advantage. Because I rolled a fucking four. Please. Gosh. Waste of a spell slot. It'll, it'll hit. It'll hit. It'll hit. It'll Magic missiles. Magic oh. missiles. Okay. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. Magic missile. Magic missile. So, Dara, you cast guy through that board. asshole. <laughs> and you know <laughs> that you were gonna hit with this spell. You were <laughs> locked on him. You cast it, and it goes flying out, and Ogeron looks over and just like slaps it away, and he just looks right at you. That goes hard. 
But as he slaps it away, golden light shoots up, comes flying down from above as Mirage's magic missiles. The entire hole is just blown through him. Fuck yeah. No. He looks towards Brom, and Brom just looks at him with like a sorrowful look. He just, I'm sorry, brother. The last magic missile. Straight through his heart. Yeah. There is no blood. There's no organs. There's no way. He's transformed into a black moon demon. He's fucked up. But you were able to stop him before his transformation was complete. And he falls. Half dragonborn. Half black moon demon. But no longer is he an iron wind watcher. Oh. He collapses to his knees. And then onto his chest. Right in front of his brother. Brother in arms. And with that, the first fight of the raised fortress is complete. <laughs> Brom kneels down by Oberon's side. You can see tears streaming down his face. He just kind of like leans his hand on his on Oberon's head. I do not know what possessed you, brother. But let Cathet judge your soul. And I hope that you find peace wherever you go now. Mm. And with that, Rom also just oh, collapsed what? unconscious as he took way too much damage. Nakoa rushes up to Brom and like slides over on his knees and begins to cast a healing spell. The spirit of the forest walks up as well and like roots itself and you see grass and flowers begin to sprout up around Brom and Oberon. And then it turns towards you. You must go on. Let us stay for a brief moment. It that happens. The spirit of the forest again kind of like moves itself even deeper, and then vines begin to grow around each of you. And again, that sweet aroma kind of fills your senses. You are all restored back to full health. Oh! And if you spend, you regain a spell slot. What level? <sighs> First. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Did you did cast I, it at another one? Did I cast a first level spell? Guiding Bolt, yes, I'm good. Yeah. So you can claim that one. Cool. So I, I took no damage the whole time, so. There you go. Do I get a key point back? Sure. Yeah! It doesn't hurt to ask. The worst thing that can a motherfucker can race say back? is yes. no. Yay! So, with that, we will conclude this session. <laughs> we will start again next week by you guys doing part two of the race. Oh, yeah! At the long, at the long flavor, I just pick up uh, uh, Nakoa's uh, quarterstaff and just gently, gent- uh, gently set it beside him, and just like thanks. That makes us even. Wow. And so, war has come to the Brookbond Forest. With the help of the mighty Treants, the Rift Seekers and Ironwood Watchers charged through the army of the demons. They stormed the raised fortress and encountered the traitor, Ogeron Behan. Our adventurers fought valiantly, and in the end, Ogeron was felled, and Brom was gravely wounded. The battle, though, is far from over as the Rift Seekers must now make their way through the fortress and bring the Ironwood Watchers' suffering to an end. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend. And goodbye!
for now.